Happy Friday. Holy shit. <laughs> this has been a long week. This has been a very long week. But, oh, yeah, I know, right, Cory? I know. I know, right, Cory? <laughs> yeah, she's already voicing her opinions on how this week has been. It's like, oh, just such a such a rough week, huh, Cory? Meow. Like, I don't know if you can hear her. I don't know if you can hear her. Okay, she's just moved over to the window. Okay. Ugh. <laughs> uh, happy Friday. Hope everyone has had a good week. And is looking forward to the weekend. I know I'm looking forward to that to the weekend at the very least. Like, holy shit. Oh, this uh probably gonna tr I'm gonna try to put some effort into actually getting stuff done because I've been procrastinating for a bit on a few things so going to be trying to I don't know give myself a little bit of a kick in the rear get some stuff going uh because like I got I need to do some skits I need to like do clip stuff um I need to fix probably need to fix up the TikTok a little bit I need to check in on like fixing up some of my social media stuff now that Twitter is like actually imploding. <laughs> it is actually like falling apart. Um yeah. <laughs> so I'm I'm probably going to have a bit of a busy weekend, you know? Going to have a bit of a busy weekend. Um just because there's just gonna be a lot of things that I am going to be needing to get caught up on. Um, there's like some voiceover stuff I want to try and audition for. Oh yeah, wedding son! <laughs> uh, there's like there's a small possibility that we're that we might be winning today. A uh, small possibility of some level of winning going on. <laughs> How you doing, Yamba? Thank you so much for swinging on by. Hope you're having a terrifyingly pleasant time zone. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was just like, yeah, I'm trying to, I was just saying, like, needing to, I've been kind of, how do I say this? Uh, a lot of chance of boning. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, chances of boning very high <laughs> with the bone wheel. <laughs> We are going to bone so many things today. We're going to bone so many things today. <laughs> uh, I was just talking about, like, I've kind of fallen out of working on, like, clips and, like, editing skits and whatnot. And I'm tr trying to figure out a lot of things at the moment. But I'm going to try and take this weekend since it's going to be, like, one of the few weekends where I've actually don't have a whole lot going on. Well, I had something going on, but now it's getting postponed again, so I'm, like, probably gonna take the weekend to actually give myself that kick in the rear and just, like, hey, st stop, procrast stop procrastinating. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> not you, Corey. Not you, Corey. <laughs> I'm not talking to you, Corey. <laughs> I don't want her to think that I'm, like, trying to punish her. That was probably not a good idea. What you doing, Corey? I mean, it's not like she listens to me a whole lot anyway. <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah. Mm. Mm. I know, right, Corey? Oh, ooh, ooh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I decided to try to make myself uh, just instead of a regular cocktail, I decided to just like, you know what? I got some fucking uh, Kraken spiced rum over here. Let's just pop crack that. Let's crack that. Uh, and, uh, whew, yeah, I forgot how potent that shit is. I forgot how potent that shit is. <laughs> uh, also, I wanted an excuse to try and utilize, uh, I got a, one of those, uh, rubber ice tray things, but they're, like, ice molds. Um, and I got the ones that actually, like, molds the ice into skulls. So I was, like, I was looking for an excuse to utilize that. So it's like, hey, Oh, and these 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 cubes are fucking huge. Like they're not really well, they're not really cubes, but like they're two 
like, I just need a two, and they're fucking humongous. <laughs> so, only needed two ice cubes to fill that in. Okay, Cory. <laughs> Sorry. Alright, Cory is apparently wanting out already. Are you wanting out, or are you just being... Or are you just being silly? Are you wanting out, or are you just being, being silly? Hello! Hello, Cory. Yes, there you are. There you are, Cory. Yes, there you are. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Cory. Go. <gasps> What's up? What's up, Cory? There you go. You want on my lap? You want to be on my lap? Nope. Uh, nope. No lap. <laughs> back of chair? <laughs> You'll take the back of the chair, though. Huh? Okay. I, I'm going to need to, like, scoop the chair in. So. Alright. Oh, 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 oh. Will you be able to like stay on the chair? Because I need to like scooch it in, you know. I need to scooch it in. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> oh God. Well, now I'm gonna be in a bit of an awkward position until she decides she wants to uh, uh, to get off the back of the chair. Because <laughs> I don't want to like. Uh, oh wait. Uh, 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 oh, there she goes. Okay. Because I'm like I don't want to scooch the chair in while she's on top of it because I don't want her to fall off. Oh, there you are. Oh, yeah. She, she, she. <laughs> One of these days, I'll have to see if I'm getting, like, a secondary cam. Just, like, going full cat cam mode. <laughs> One of these days, I'll figure out how to set that up. I figure, like, li li like, people sometimes use, like, what, uh, not DS DLR cam- what the fuck kind of camera is that? There's, like, a digital camera that works as, like, a webcam uh, as well, of sorts. Um, but, uh, I don't know, maybe just, like, get an a like, a secondary webcam or some shit like that. <laughs> uh, oops, excuse me. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. Uh, today is, in fact, more of Dark Souls BOOM! Real action. <laughs> there is, in fact, going to be more bone wheel shenanigans. <laughs> so, as far, as far as, like, plan goes, like, we basically have everything we need to get to the end of the game. The way we are right now, but... We still need to do the Painted World, and we still need to do the DLC. S DLC might be like a whole se a session in and of itself. I wonder, I'm going to try and see if we can like start the DLC, see how we fare in terms of like strength and whatnot, and capability, and maybe like do switch over to a Painted World for a little bit. Um, cause I don't, no, no, that might take like an hour to do. Um, it's not a long area by any chance. It's just one of those like we interesting. I want to try and at least get some playtime over in there, cause there, yeah, there's definitely some stuff to look at over in that direction. Uh, but main main thing we need to do still is the DLC, and my cat is throwing an absolute fit. One sec, one sec. I swear. <laughs> oh, okay. But, uh, what was I thinking about? Right. Uh, we need, do need to do... I think we'll probably start with the DLC, because I also, like... Well, we don't exactly have a whole lot of... I think that we there's, like, a couple of side quests that we need to, like, follow up on. There's a couple other things we need to check in. Uh, well, I actually do that a bit at the start. Um... But yeah, we'll do check in on a couple of side quests, and then we'll see about that getting the DLC unlocked. Mm. <sighs> ooh, ooh, ooh! Wow, yeah. Do not underestimate Kraken Rum. Do not under, under, underestimate Kraken Rum. <laughs> I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be uh, 
pacing that for throughout the evening. <laughs> yeah, because the last thing I need to be worrying about is uh, like just coming into like fucking Artorias completely fucking smashed. Like, yeah, that's not gonna end well. <laughs> Oh god, it's like, oh god, imagine if like, like, doing this, do it like a drunk Dark Souls stream, see how far it can go on that. <laughs> like, I don't know, like, I know people used to do like, dark, drunk souls, or people, I think people still do drunk souls streams where they like, take a shot whenever they die or something like that. Uh, I know, I think people still do, still do that, right? Do people still do that? I know those are usually pretty fun to watch, albeit a little on the dangerous side, depending on how often you end up dying. <laughs> just, a, just, just, a, just a little dangerous. Just, just, just a little bit. Just a little bit, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry, just checking a couple things. All right. Let's see if we can go ahead and get on started, because yeah, we do have quite a bit that we need to do. So. Let's go ahead and get on started here. There we go. All right. <laughs> All right. So, we last left off over here. Uh, we beat Men of Chaos and uh, uh, God, the uh, Sea. Jeez, I fucking blanked out on that for whatever reason. <laughs> Uh, try jumping. Yeah, nah, I don't know. Uh, so, reason why I wanted to want to check out, because there's a couple things that occur over here, especially after we beat, uh, and Nido. And no, we beat Nido and, uh, there you are. Yeah, we beat Nido and, C and Bed of Chaos last time. So, once you go through Nito, Hatch just comes back here. Oh, we meet again. How many of you are there? You've come at the perfect time. I'm done with the looting. I'm a humble merchant now. And wondrous treasures have I. At a special price for you. There you are. Have a nice look at them. Oh, relax. No more funny business out of me, my friend. Yeah, and he becomes a merchant. Prostration. Yeah, he becomes a full-on merchant now. And sells some pretty decent stuff, actually. Got some prism stones. He's got a shit ton of humanity and some twin humanities and a twin humanity as well. Uh, got some miracles uh, because he hates clerics and he probably murdered a couple clerics. Um, he's got some and he, oh yeah, he, and he sells the uh, masks too. He sells the masks. Uh, this one raises equipment load. I think we got okay. It was child that we got previously. Uh, so yeah, you definitely, sit, like you can get each of the masks and cleric gear as well because again, hates clerics, murders clerics. <laughs> Giant dad run win. <laughs> I've honestly like never really done a giant dad build myself because I don't know it was like well at the time it was hilariously overused because that's the meme you know. Giant dad was the meme. And it was like everyone was running that in PvP in particular. So I was like, eh. <laughs> it is tanky. It, that, like, I know there's, like, it is very tanky. And that's, like, for good reason. Because you're using, like, massive, heavy fucking armor. And you're wearing a bunch of stuff that it re increases your equipment load. Um, and then you pair, if you get it up to a certain point, you pair that with the, uh, flippy, the flip ring, the flippy ring, and you're just, like, bouncing all over the fucking place. <laughs> it was an incredibly, like, is a super meme build. Uh, but it was a, it was a meme build, but it was a busted build. Because, yeah. <laughs> uh. Here, have you met that backwoods Shiva? Believe me on this one, bruv. The man is trouble. I can see it in his eyes. I just can. <laughs> no doubt about it. Watch him. So the thing about Patches when he comes over back to the Firelink Shrine is he'll give you details about other NPCs in the game. Here's the thing about Patches. He never lies. He may, like, leave out a couple de like, 
obfuscate the truth a little bit, but he never just outright lies to you. He will never outright lie to you. Like, even when he was down in the Tomb of the Giants, when he was talking about, oh, there's treasure down there. The, he wasn't lying about that. There was actually treasure down there. So he may be like a, a swindler and a crook and he'll take whatever opportunities that he can. He's a hell of an opportunist, but he's not a liar. He's not a liar. <laughs> yeah, have you met that sunbathing Solaire? Believe me on this one, bruv. He's a complete idiot. Hmm? But he happens to be an awfully strong idiot. So just nod your head and keep him on your side. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, I think we can. He, he, uh, I think there's like a list of NBCs that he goes through depending on who's still alive. Wait, have you met Petrus, that self proclaimed cleric? <laughs> Believe me on this one, bruv. The man is scum. Yep. Don't you be fooled by his claims to do good. They're all the same, those rotten clerics. Yep, yeah, and he also, like, gives. Because he doesn't lie, he also gives you the first hint on uh, Mop Top. We murdered his ass earlier, but yeah, he gives you the t gives you the scoop on him, if in case you're still like wondering about what his alle allegiances are. Boy, have you met Lautrec the Embraced? Believe me on this one, bruv. He's completely mad. Mm -hmm. He wouldn't think twice about cutting somebody down. So watch out for him, especially if you've humanity to spare. Yep, uh, he is tr right about Lautrec. I'm done with the looting. And wondrous okay, and now he's I'm back to his regular dialogue. <laughs> back to his regular dialogue. And yeah, here's the other thing. Like, if you, for some, for whatever reason, if you left uh, Nido alive, then yeah, you can still uh, purchase, you can purchase Eyes of Death from him. So you can, you have a pretty good way to advance that covenant as well. So yeah, if you're a grave lord, then you bring and you're willing to put in some grind and a little bit of grinding work. Yeah, you just straight up buy eyes of death from him. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. We got some humanity. Uh, let's see. I think we, he just has. Okay, yeah, he just has the uh, one on him. Okay, we can come back and buy, purchase some more humanity if we really need to. And then, let's see if we can just like do that. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> uh, yeah, he sells divine blessings as well. Uh, and yeah, not a bad shop all around. Not a bad shop all right. around. Good stuff, eh? Don't you forget who got it for you. <laughs> so yeah, that's basically Patch's whole deal. <laughs> Uh, now, since we saved What's-Her-Face around here as well... Oh, by the way, before I started, I actually burned some of the Twinkling Titanite that I had on hand and went ahead and reinforced some of the other armor pieces that we got. We'll probably run into more Titanite, but if we need to, we can always just buy some back. Uh, oh, she's not back? Ah, uh, okay, I think she actually goes up here. So she goes back to the uh, parish, which is actually it works out because we need to go through here anyway, I think. <laughs> yeah, imagine if you can just like hold the shield up and then just grind it against the wall. That'd be. That's a level of detail I don't think they would have been able to really accomplish. Ah, there she is. Yeah, so she just, she pops over here once you rescue her, rescue her from Tomb of the Giants. Hello. I will never forget what you did. I am deeply indebted, for it was not within my power to save Vince or Nico. I cannot thank you enough. In case you have not heard, I am Rhea of Thoroland. I only wish there was some way I could help you. I'm inexperienced, and I only know the art of miracles. Of course, they're on the fit again. She's that could be of any help. Speak to me again. Oh, yeah, she offers you some could miracles. Miracle, I would be mo maybe just... Uh, think. Yep, prayer. Jester learned. Uh, oh yeah, and she also has her own covenant. I think she also does the uh, way of the white covenant. 
uh, which we can actually, um, let's see. Oh yeah, we can actually join her covenant in case we haven't like joined it from Petrus earlier. Also, Corey's throwing a fit again, so one sec, sorry. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I also went ahead and just kind of set the uh, AC back up again. Because it's a little warm in here. It's a little warm in here. Or maybe I'm just like really bundled up. For <laughs> Maybe I'm just like really bundled up. But it feels really warm in here for, or for some reason. Really warm in here. Uh, despite the fact that it's actually pretty chilly out there outside right now. <laughs> All right. Uh, so yeah, we can go ahead and join her covenant. Properly. Not through the other scumbag. Alright. Uh, let's see. And she does, in fact, sell miracles. Not that we can use any of this shit. <laughs> yeah, not that we can actually, like, use any of it. I think we can actually, like, purchase... Yeah, just about... I think we can just, like, purchase almost all of her stuff right now. Because it's not like it's really, like, expensive or anything. There we go. Yeah, like her spells in particular are pretty easily, uh, pretty obtainable. <laughs> Cleric builds? Are you some kind of madman? <laughs> I mean, miracles were actually like super fucking good in this game. Vince and Nico were fooled by a lout named Patches and turned into hollows. My prayers did them no good. It is my ignorance. My frailty that has sealed their fates. What's up, Corey? Petrus realized my weakness all along, and thus made the decision to abandon me. I can hardly blame him now. So the thing is, uh, uh, if you, for whatever reason, keep Petrus alive, I believe, by this point in the game, he actually comes over and outright murders her. Just outright murders her. And that's like the bad end of the quest line. So you at that point you still have the option of either like killing him yourself or letting him go free, depending on how you want to play that play your character. In this instance, because we took care of Petrus early, she is able to stay alive. <laughs> yeah, just the average Dark Souls running joke of a good cleric build. <laughs> I know, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, oh, hey, there we go. Someone that actually rang the bell. Uh, what was I gonna say? Right. Uh, but yeah, it's like, yeah, uh, clerics, uh, cleric bills, yeah. <laughs> well, I guess because it's like the early, you get, you get access to the stuff you able to do to actually make a cleric build pretty early in the game. <laughs> All things considered. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> I mean, miracles are still, like, really fucking good, especially the lightning stuff. Like, the lightning stuff is fucking, like, just it, really good. Really fucking good. Uh, so at least in Dark Souls 1. Like, Dark Souls 2, not so much. They kind of changed the magic system around. Um, and then I think they kind of fix it up again in 3. So it kind of brings it back to where it kind of should be. Uh. Okay, yeah, her dialogue's the same. Then B say farewell, very annox. Yeah, so I think in order to like move her to her next spot, I believe it's by everything that she has. So let's go ahead and see. We'll move over this direction for now and see. Oh yeah, we're pretty fucking beefy right now. We're pretty fucking beefy right now. <laughs> uh. I mean, yeah, I probably could theoretically, like, put on the giant dad mask. 
to get the extra equipment load. But I think we're in the we already invested a lot into stamina, so I think we're in a good, good spot right now. All right, let's see if she moves right now yet, or if I have to buy the divine blessings from her first. Like, I still got some souls on. I still got some souls on me. I know, right, Cory? I know. Huzzah! Huzzah! Alright, let me see. Uh, oh, no, she's still there. Okay. Alright, now let's see here. Uh, I think I j still need to, like... Oh yeah, that's the only one. That's just the one. Sorry, I was hearing movement. Okay, your dialogue's the same. Already belong to the covenant. Okay. Okay, so I think there's like a progression trigger then for her. That's fine. That's totally fine. Alright. So while we're in this air, this direction, let's see if we can go ahead and go ahead. We'll go ahead and unlock the DLC because we got the item that we actually needed uh, last time. Let's see. Oop. Was under key items and let's see. Here we go. It's this one, the broken pendant, the one we got from the uh, golem in the archives half of a broken stone pendant the vine appears to originate from ulusil a powerful magic can be sensed from this ancient stone yet men of this time can neither manipulate nor sense its power which has a distinct air considering consisting of both reverence and nostalgia so that's the thing that we need to be able to unlock the dlc as far as where we need that meat and requires us to go back down to the basin the lake area where we fought the first hydra act so unfortunately it's a bit of a trek it is a bit of a trek there we go yeah yeah, thankfully, thankfully, we can just kind of plow right through everything. We can just plow right through everything over here. Like you! Aha! <laughs> also, I can get take another chance at getting that fucking crystal lizard again. The little shit that keeps eluding me. So we can get some more twinkling. Uh, there you are. Alright. I'm gonna try and see if I can get to you this time. Okay, running start, running start, running start. Running start, running start, running start. Running start. Ah! Oh my god! Oh my god! God damn it! How do I keep missing? How do I keep missing that thing? I'm like, I'm gonna hit you, I'm gonna hit you, I'm gonna hit you, I'm gonna hit you, and then I, I just fucking completely whiff, and I over, overreach my shot. Like, how do I keep doing that? How do I keep doing that? Like, someone please explain to me how I keep missing. Like, what, what the fuck? I think it's because it's just that small of a fucking target. Maybe that's what it is. And I'm like, over, overestimating how far I need to start. Before I need to like actually connect. So yeah, so here's the thing. Once you get the broken amulet, uh, Dusk's summon sign disappears. So that is the first signifier that something is a miss. A miss over here. No, not a miss, a miss over here. Oh, Bone Daddy! <laughs> Hello there, Halber. Oh, yeah, you guys are... Okay, okay never mind. You can still... Okay. There we go. Okay. Just gotta... Okay, 
yeah, you guys can still hurt. You guys can still hurt. Eh. How you doing, Halbert? Thank you so much for swinging on by, and I hope you're having a terrifyingly, oh, pleasant time zone. There we go, jeez. Yeah, I was like, uh, kind of stuck there. How you doing, Halbert? Thank you so much for swinging on by. Oh, yeah, more. Oh, we have action over here. Alright, so, I think we mentioned, talked about this last time, because the way they, the way they did the DLC for Dark Souls 1 is the most obscure thing ever. Like, absolutely the most obscure thing ever. So, you go to the Golem, you get the fucking, uh, uh, the Broken Pendant, and then you're like, okay, the only hint we have of it is something with Ulusil. Uh, you get with Dusk. Dusk is the one person you remember encountering that is actually from Ulusil. So I'm like, okay. So you're like, okay, where the fuck do I look at next? You have to go all the way back over here, right over there, to where you first freed Dusk. And this is this only appears when you have the Broken Pendant. All the way back over here, in a spot where you can't even really see when you first enter the zone. <laughs> this little black hole over here. Yeah, put your hand in the mystery hole, basically. Like, hey, just put your hand in the hole. Just reach on into the hole and see what you pull out, you know? Just reach up, just reach into the hole, you know? What could possibly go wrong? What could possibly go wrong? Oh, jeez. So, you go over here, and you're like, huh, what's this? Okay, I can get this first, I was going to say. There we go. And there we go. There's our uh, other hint that something has gone awry. We get Dusk set. <laughs> and, yeah, and then there's this. This weird black hole. So, uh, yeah, let's go just, just... Just, just reach in the hole. Just reach into the hole. You know? Reach into the hole. Uh, no touchy! Yeah. We get grabbed by the ghoulies. We get grabbed by the ghoulies. I'm gonna steal your shirt. No, 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 not my shirt! <laughs> I need to keep my shirt on because Twitch TOS and shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, and that's how you get to the DLC. Or the hole reaches for you. That too. That, like, that sometimes also happens. Like, when you try to reach into the hole, the hole does sometimes reach out to you as well. <laughs> yeah, the ghoulies grab you by the ghoulies. Oh. <laughs> uh. So, yeah, you're like, you're, you go in there, and you realize, what the fuck am I at? They do have the courtesy of giving you a bonfire, though. And if you've unlocked the Lord Vessel warp at this point, then, yeah, you have a... This is the reason why it requires you to have placed a Lord Vessel, because this way you can actually, uh, like, warp out of here. Because it's, like, a completely different zone. There's a shirt TOS... Honestly, at this point, I don't even know what the fuck it, what the fuck the TOS is, because Twitch is, like, all over the place with their shit. Twitch is not consistent at all. But at the same time, like, better to be safe than sorry, you know? <laughs> How about your pants? They can't see that. But then I won't be comfy. I won't be comfy then. It's like, I'm wearing comfy pants. <laughs> I'm wearing comfy pants, you know? Like... Like, if you want to see me without pants, then, like, that'd be what the fansly would be for if I ever start that. <laughs> uh, rear. Uh, good luck. Uh, what about your shoes? Shoes? I, no, I, I love my shoes. I love my boots. I love my boots. Wait, why would you, why would, why would, why would I, like, give, why would I give away my boots for? Like, I'm a, I love my boots, you know? <laughs> uh, like, seriously. Uh, there we go. Like, Look at these. Look at these boots. 
Look at these boots. You know how our, you know how hard it is to find boots like these that actually like fit and give like good arch support and shit. Like you may not think about it much because like you know I'm a ghost and whatnot, but it's still like gotta keep up appearances. You know we got you gotta be able to keep up appearances. You know. <laughs> uh. Uh, and yeah, like the pants as well. Like, gotta be able to show off. My, gotta be able to show off my thighs, you know. Uh, don't show the feet. People will never leave you alone for them. Oh, jeez. Yeah, no. Like, oh, whoop, whoop, didn't want to do that. Yeah, just. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nah, like that. Nah, the the feet are covered. The feet are covered. We're good. The feet are covered. So I think we're good. <laughs> I think we're good. Oh uh, man. Uh, he showed the feet. <laughs> it's okay. I kept it covered. We're fu we're good. We're clean. We're clean. <laughs> that's the other re reason why I can't really take my boots on. At least that's the other reason why I can't take my boots off. Cause uh, if I do, people will just lose their shit. Like, foot I've commented on this before. Like foot fetishes. Foot fetishes are like. A very particular brand of just out there, you know? <laughs> like, it's one of those, like, fetishes where it's just like, really? That that part of the body in particular? That specific part of the body? I kind of feel the same way about armpits, uh, as as a matter of fact. Like, because armpits are like, like, like oh, that's where a lot of, a lot of sweat congregates at. You know, it gets really gross and icky. And it's just like, for some reason, people are into that. And I'm like, why? Why? <laughs> the toesies are protected. Yep. <laughs> uh, I think it's a meme thing. No, nah, it's not really a meme thing, but it's still, like, people that are legitimately into that then it's just like I, I it, there's a point where it just stops being a meme <laughs> the real question is where does the meme stop and the fetishes begin it, exactly there you go exactly that's the thing like there's a point where it just stops being a meme and it's just full on fetish territory uh, alright so when you come into the DLC for the first time you're like you're in this little like underground area this little tunnel and you're like, huh, this is a bit of a fog wall here right off the bat. And I was like, well, wonder what, what, will, what awaits, what fresh horrors await me on the other side of this. It's a boss battle! Yeah, throws you right into the thick of things. Right off the bat. Right off the bat. Oh, okay, I can't actually, oh jeez. Oh, this thing actually hurts. Really hurts. This boss is no pushover either. This boss is no pushover. Like, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to one one and done this, but we'll see. Like, it's a very agile fight, but thankfully, thankfully, you have a lot of space to work with. And the thing about this fight is, because you're in water, it fires off electric, electric attacks. Like, the actual, when it, when the attacks land in the water, like the electricity actually spreads. So, you can still wind up taking damage, despite heavy what is the attack. Thankfully, I can block a good amount of this stuff, but I think it's also like, one of the things that's actually resistant to electricity, so this might actually take a little bit. This might actually take a little bit. You can actually break the tail of this as well, but this build is not exactly designed for tail cutting. <laughs> So, yeah, again, that little barrage. Okay, here's, a, here's like the one opportunity you get to actually get a swipe at its tail. 
that attack is specifically designed to break your guard. Yeah. And yeah, it's basically that that attack is basically designed to break your guard. Attack there. So far so good. We're actually doing it so far. I was honestly expecting uh, to struggle with this, but so far we're doing it. Like, it helps that I'm actually able to block most of the single attacks. Okay, yep, there's the, there's the tail swipe. Yep, there's the tail swipe. And yeah, it, the tail does do poison. A lot of poison damage. where the short range of this shield might actually start causing problems. Oh, I mistimed that. Ow. Okay. Whoop! There we go. get the tail if we get to do more of those like dark attacks because that's like the best opportunity to actually get it we'll see we'll see Still poisoned, where it's, it's not a strong poison. It's not a strong poison, but it's enough to be a fucking irritant. Boss is my nightmare. Speed versus magic speed always wins. Oh yeah, like, and this is like the introduction to the DLC. This is your introduction to the DLC. <laughs> a lot of people struggled with this right out of the gate, because it's also a significant difficulty spike as well. And if you're not, if you're not, like, geared, like, this, this one essentially serves as a gear check for what's to come. Ow. This essentially serves as a gear check for what's to come. I'm actually running out of sips. nearly isn't as far as this guy. It kind of depends on your build, honestly. It honestly kind of depends on your build. Some builds have a harder with a harder time with final boss than others. Oh yeah, there we go. That's a good shot. I'm gonna actually try something else as well. There we go. Yeah! Whoop! Hey! Avalon came in handy there. <laughs> nice! First try! First try! I wasn't expecting to do that first try. <laughs> I'm just that much of a badass, apparently. I'm just that much of a badass. <laughs> oh. 
Fuck yeah. All right. So there we go. Once you be once you're able to beat that, you're able to get to the B DLC. So yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. I was gonna say if we if we struggled if we were struggling against the guardian there, then yeah, I was gonna go back and like do painted world instead to get some extra levels. But I think we're good. I think we might actually be good. Go ahead and take a seat here. We can't actually get a level, um, or I can put it into other stuff. Well, let's see, actually, because there's, like, another per thing around here as well. Uh, where are you? There you are. There you are. How are you? Well, look at this one. From what faraway age hast thou come? Thy scent is very human indeed, but not intolerable. Ah. Princess Dusk's savior. Thine aura is precisely as she described. I thank thee deeply for rescuing her highness. But Princess Dusk is here no longer, snatched away by that horrifying primeval human. And so I must ask, couldst thou once more play the savior? So this is your first hint as to like where you're at and you realize, oh shit, I'm in the past, aren't I? Because this is Ulusil, but a bit after after the Dragon Wars, but before it, after it just like just recently fell to ruin. Thank you. I am Elizabeth, guardian of this sanctuary. Something of a godmother to Princess Dusk. I shall assist thee to my utmost, for I am one with the sorcerers of Ulusil. This is also the first mushroom character that is actually civil and will not try to punch you in the face. <laughs> so yeah, she sells repair powder, resin, and a catalyst. And I think once uh, you can act, eventually get some other rewards from her as well. Thou shalt see further on. An abyss was begat of the ancient beast and threatens to swallow the whole of Ulysses. Knight Artorius came to stop this. But such a hero has nary a murmur of dark. Without doubt, he will be swallowed by the abyss, overcome by its utter blackness. Indeed, the abyss may be unstoppable. Still, I have faith that Princess Dusk may be rescued yet. Thou shalt see... Okay, same dialogue. But yeah, she lets you know... Guide thee. She lets you know what the deal is, what to expect, and like, yeah, good luck. <laughs> yeah, good luck going into the abyss, something that's considered, like, unbeatable. Let me see if it's, like, the situation change over here yet, because there's something else that occurs once you beat the Sanctuary Guardian for the first time. Okay, they're not up yet. Okay. I was checking to see. Like, I think I guess we gotta progress a little bit further. So basically, like you're wondering, oh fuck, I missed my chance to get that tail. Damn. <laughs> but nah. The what happens eventually is that uh, the sanctuary guardian does respawn, but there's two of them instead. So it's it, it's so that little room is even tougher. <laughs> Granted, you can like cheese it, cheese them from the exit points. But it's still like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> Yo, the pass has a bunch of badass shit in here. Good fucking luck. Yep, pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> uh, and the hint at Bloodborne coming up too. Oh, gods, yeah, Bloodborne, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I don't know if, like, Bloodborne was actually in development at this time. Uh, but definitely looks like a Bloodborne. It definitely looks like a Bloodborne, and yeah, we'll see him in due time. We will definitely see him in due time. Alright. Onward. Since we now have full permission to proceed into Ulysses. And 
yeah, look at that. <laughs> look at that. Look at this. Honestly, it looks like an almost completely different landscape. Looks almost like it's still Ulusil. Like you're in this, the royal wood. Like you'll recognize a couple of spots, but essentially it's basically like yeah, a whole different area. Oh yeah, these things are actually a bit tougher. These things are actually a bit tougher. Oh. Ow. Oh jeez. Oh yeah, these things are actually putting up a bit of a fight here. Would have been badass if there was a Dark Souls DLC related thing for Bloodborne to make it full circle. Oh god, so imagine that kind of crossover. <laughs> like there's very few instances where like the different individual games like cross over to each other. Like, there's recognizable elements, but at the same time, they're all still their own elements, you know? They're still their own, like, characters. Ow. Like, the only real instances on one thing referencing another is usually, like, some vague stuff in Dark Souls 2. And Dark Souls 3, they tried to run that back and be like, yeah, we're just gonna, be, it, we're just directly tying Dark Souls 1 and 2 together. Yeah, but yeah, it's like Bloodborne, Sekiro, Elden Ring, they'll definitely have like themes similar to Souls games, but nothing that actually like crosses over into the other titles. Which would be nice, but yeah, they definitely have always wanted to keep the franchises as separate as they can. Uh, I can't remember where I need to go at this point. Oh, this is like a... Oh, there you are. There you are. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're definitely... That was a trap. That was definitely a trap. Oh, jeez. Oh, there's a lot of you. Holy shit. Boy, there's a lot of you. Okay. Okay. We need to, like, actually, like, kindle that bonfire for as much damage as I'm taking. <laughs> uh. Alright. Yeah, I may need to actually kindle that one bonfire. I always get lost in this zone because, like, it's a big open area and there's definitely a lot to, like, take in. There's definitely a lot going on. Alright. Uh, let's see. Oh, jeez. Yeah, these giants are particularly threatening because, yeah, they have the big ass fucking mallet spikes. And when they do the, like, the big overhead, that one, they do the big overhead swing. I'm just gonna. Not really worth fighting them because they do that big overhead swing and then they pull the hammer back up. And that does some fucking damage on its own. Guardian leggings. This? this is not the bridge. Oh, it is the bridge! Hey, Calamy, how you doing? Oh, I can't. I actually can hit you. I wasn't sure if I could actually hit you, but yeah, it doesn't give a fuck. So there's your preview of what's considered the hardest boss in the game. <laughs> there's a little bit of a preview there. I'm just gonna keep on going through here. I have no heals. <gasps> Lizard! Oh, God. Okay. Make sure I can actually get you this time. There we go. Hey. Got one. Okay. Oh, yeah. And here's... This is a good spot right here because... Yeah. 
you see this hole, and this is where the abyss muck starts showing itself. Oh, hey, yo, Cory. Yeah, I know. That's some dank. That's some dank abyss, isn't it? That's some very dank abyss, Cory. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, there's like a lot of stuff you can actually pick up around here, because this is a wide. Oh, this is a big ass fucking zone. This is a big fucking zone right here. Ow. Like this right here. Large soul. There we go. Alright. I mean, it's a very pretty area, too. It's a very pretty area. Like, but you can easily get lost here. Okay, I think I... Yeah, I think I remember where I need to go now. Let's get this lizard first. There we go. Hey, more twinkling. Okay. Oh, wait up, Corey. Okay, yeah, I do not want to get that giant involved. I do not want to get that giant involved. No, thank you. You can go on away from there. There we go. Uh oh, oh, jeez. Oh, th oh, this might be a bad idea. Yeah, this is a bad idea. This was an absolute bad idea. This was an absolute bad idea. Oh no. Uh, no! Uh, dip it, dip! <laughs> yeah, that was absolutely a bad idea. That was absolutely a bad idea. Jeez. <laughs> that was a terrible idea. Fuck. Oh, God. What I want to see is Bloodborne on PC. Oh, gods, I'm convinced that that'll never happen. That will never happen at this point, because, like, well, there's something, apparently there was something that was made known that, for one thing, Bloodborne is designed to be locked at a specific frame rate, and any attempts to actually increase the frame rate just breaks the game on several different levels. Um, excuse me. Uh, so there's that. There's that. <laughs> uh, like, and the other thing is, like, not only the, I think FromSoft has to sign off on it at first, but then Sony also has to sign off on it. And I think it's like, it's probably more on Sony's end than anything else. So... But in order to make Bloodborne actually, like, work on the PC and in a state where you can actually run it without it, like, breaking, you would probably have to, like, kind of essentially make a remaster. Like, essentially retool the game like they did for uh, Dark Souls Prepare to Die Edition uh, when they released that on PC. Because they would probably have to do something like that. And so... There's definitely a demand for it, but there's also the matter of whether it's actually feasible or not. And, like, there's, like, mods out there that are designed to... Okay, yeah, you get a pretty good shot of uh, a location over here that we'll get to in a sec. Like, I know there's a mod that exists. Wow. Oh, right, really? Oh, right over there. I know there's a mod that exists that allows you uh, that allows you to uh, set up for like 60 FPS on Bloodborne but it's still on console and modding a console is not as easy as modding a PC like modding a console game usually requires you oh hey sh oh shit right vagrant holy fuck <laughs> uh, just, just fucking chill in there holy shit Sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> um, trying to see if I can find my way over to that. Uh, what was I talking about? Right. Uh. Uh. Oh God, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> I lost my train of thought. Fuck. <laughs> uh. Right. Um. 
like to do to, like modding a PS4 game, I believe, kind of requires you to jailbreak the console in some capacity. Um, which not necessarily something people are willing to do. Whereas it's a lot easier to do so on PC because you just plop the files that you want in there. Maybe do a couple extra steps if necessary and it's like, yo, modded, modded game. <laughs> oh, hey, guys. It, just mod N64 Mario into Dark Souls. Oh, God, I... Like, I would be very surprised if someone hasn't done that already. I'd be very surprised if someone hasn't done that already. Like, it's gotta exist. Like, I've seen mods of people, like, with modding fucking Uzis. Like, modern-day weaponry into the game. And it's like, so someone has done that. Someone had to, has, to, has to have done that at this point by now. There is an emulator that runs Bloodborne for PC, but bugs everywhere and new bu bugs each time you play. Yeah, that's essentially the issue. Like, people are trying to figure out how to make it run on PC, but the problem is, like, trying to get Bloodborne to run on anything that's not its native platform right now just causes everything to break. <laughs> like, people are, like, I think people are just kind of, Corey, you're walking on the keyboard there. What are you doing? What are you doing, Corey? Sorry, my cat's like walking onto the onto the fucking. <laughs> oh yeah, some bastard modded him into Blender. Really, <laughs> really, that is actually very impressive. That is actually super impressive. <laughs> uh, okay, Corey, 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 come on, come on, come on, get down. I don't need you getting cat hair into my fucking Rama. <laughs> There we go. Uh, but yeah, it's like the problem is they probably need to retool the Bloodborne from the ground up in order to make it work on anything that's not a PlayStation 4. And I think you can actually play it on PS5 as well, but the frame rate is still locked. Like, you, there's no, like, improved frame rate or anything like that. Uh, it's, I think it's just the same game, just probably faster at both times. Yep. Oh yeah, you're actually still pretty tough. There we go. Hey, thanks for the twin humanities. Someone found the codes for N64 Mario and allows anyone who can mod him, mod, mod put him into anything you want. You could legit put him in here. Oh, God, I think I remember hearing about that. Like, I think I remember hearing that someone actually managed to, like, crack the code it, on how to, like, import Mario uh, models. Yeah, and I think that kind of, like, blew up the scene for a little bit. Gonna go play some Vermintide? No worries, no worries. God, I really want to try and, like, go back to Vermintide sometime. That game's fun. That game's fun. Uh, okay, I think this is... Yeah, here we go. This unlocks a shortcut. Here we go. Uh, oh yeah, here we go. Brings us right back, right down here. Fuck yeah, that actually didn't take as long as I thought it would. But I was gonna, I was expecting myself to get a lot more lost. We're not gonna go in there yet, though. We're not gonna go in there yet. But yeah, enjoy Vermintide. Need to get back on that sometime. Also, speaking of Bloodborne, we were talking about Bloodborne. Speaking of which... <laughs> hmm. Ah, let me guess. Snatched by a shadowy limb and dragged off to the past? Mm -hmm. Why, yes. Yes, of course. Exactly what happened to me. We are both strangers in this strange land. But at least now there are two of us. Hello, Chester. <laughs> yeah, this guy is like, well, this wasn't known at, a to at the time. Like, Bloodborne was not even officially announced at this point, but this specifically, he looks like a Bloodborne character. He straight up looks like a Bloodborne character. Did you happen across Knight Artorias, the legendary Abyss Walker from the old tales? Well, if you haven't, it's just as well. He's a colorless sort, if you ask me. <laughs> 
So, what did that giant mushroom make you do? Not that I care. It's none of my business. <laughs> so yeah, his attentions at this point are pretty vague. It's really hard to get a read on him. But you can still tell, like, he means some kind of, like, he has some kind of ul ulterior motive. He does sell you some stuff, though. He does sell you some stuff. Uh, so, but let's see. We can get some moss. We can get some blossoms. Uh, let's see. Some fire bombs. Uh, black fire bombs. We can probably get a couple of these, actually. Those can come in handy. Uh, some extra homework bones if you need it. And yeah, he sells humanities as well. Like, a good amount of humanities. <laughs> so long. And he tries to be cordial, at the very least. So, before we go into there, we need to unlock this shortcut. Because, yeah. Don't really want to have to take the long road again. So yeah, this basically brings us back on over to that, the, to this area here. Alright. So now that we got that unlocked, uh, let's see. Actually, this, and then, yeah, we can do that too. Why not? Why not? And then, uh, how many homework bones do I have? I can just, like... Uh, oh yeah, we got plenty of these, so I can just kind of go ahead and use this. Because that bonfire is definitely going to be, like, the primary one for this, for a bit here. Uh, let's see. So good. See, I wanted to burn these souls primarily, so that we don't have to worry about, like, worrying about losing them later on. So we'll get a level first. Uh, don't have any magic I can use. Lies. Uh, let's see. Uh, put myself back on the chaos circle. For shits and giggles. <laughs> uh, let's see. Du -du -du -du. Uh, okay, first off. Pingus! P <laughs> first off, Pingus! <laughs> How you doing, Chuckles? Thank you so much for swinging on by, and I hope you're having a terrifyingly pleasant time zone. Oh, how you doing? <laughs> Speaking of pinguses, yeah, I put posted. I made the clip. Uh, the, I made a clip on, and I uploaded that to the Tuck Talks, the TikTok and YouTube Shorts, so that's all up there. That is up, I uploaded that one, I, I edited it together yesterday and I uploaded that earlier today, like a couple hours ago, so definitely check that out. Always quality timing, I know, right? You, roll, you always seem to manage to like get the right timing in, just just the, the, the most opportune timing in. <laughs> it's kinda wild, actually, it's kinda wild. Ugh. Alright. Now that we've got that kindled, that's going to be our main bonfire for a couple of encounters in particular. A couple of encounters. So, I'm going to try and see if we can get our way back over to that Coliseum area. People call me the master of the Pingus. <laughs> uh... That sounds like a that sounds like a porn title. That sounds like a porn title that someone could use. <laughs> the master of the pingus. <laughs> oh jeez. And yeah, now that we got the shortcut, we can just kind of hug the wall over here until we get to the edge of the area. Ugh. Get on over on this spot. Here we go. Quick, easy, simple. And yeah, we still have ample chances to explore the rest of the area if we really want to. If we really want oh, to. Think of anything. Yeah, and let's go ahead and get some more stuff. Dude, I could use some more moss. There we go. Just enough to get 
a decent so stack. long. Just enough to get a decent stack of moss. So there's a path down there that we can go in. Let's not go there yet, though. We're not going to go that way yet. This is where we want to go to. Alright. I'm good. Ready to sketch a couple things. How was your day, homie? I It was a long day, but at the same time, I'm glad to be at the weekend. I'm glad to be at the weekend, because holy shit, this has been a long, long week. It has been a long week. Mm. Mm. But yeah, definitely looking forward to the weekend, because I want to try and like get back in the habit of working on some stuff. I've been procrastinating on a lot of things lately, but I want to try and get back in the swing of things. And definitely try to put some stuff together. I got a couple ideas for like some like shorts that I want to do as well, but it's just going to require me to like give myself a good kick in the rear, maybe a slap in the rear as well. Just go ahead and give me a, give myself give me a good slap on the bum. Just give me a good 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 slap on the bum and help get me motivated. You know, slap my ass. Just get just go ahead come up come on over and slap my ass and get my get me motivated. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, all right. This is going to be the wall. I can tell you right now, this is going to be the wall right here. This is probably going to be the wall. The first real big wall in the DLC. Whew, but it's going to be a fun... I, I'm imagining this is going to be a fun one. This is, this is always... This is considered like one of the best fights in the expansion. <laughs> Oh, oh, speaking of which, <laughs> thank you for the ghostly nut. <laughs> Understandable. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> All right. All right. This is going to be a doozy of a fight. This is going to be a doozy of a fight, but I feel like we can do this. All right. Uh, let's go. boss fight has this kind of entrance. Like, you want to talk about having an impact. Like... And yeah, just comes in high. Coming in high. Okay. Ah, fuck, I didn't have enough stamina to dodge there. What's up, Cory? What's up, Cory? Okay. I remember a lot of how this fight works, but a lot of it is still gonna come down to chance. And he's really very quick, too. He's very quick. Oh, that's right, I have my uh, thorns damage, too. That's actually a little bit of extra hits in. Well, yep, yep, that's the thing. When he does that little flip attack, he can sometimes do it two or three, sometimes even more times. Oh yeah, that's another thing, like he can, that's kind of like his uh, back attack. He flinks some of the abyss muck at you. This is Artorias corrupted by the abyss. This is Artorias corrupted by the Abyss, and he's still fighting with one arm on top of that. He's fighting with one arm. Like, talk about make, setting a fucking, and making an impression. Talk about making an impression. Like, holy shit. This music too, the music too. Oop. Big leap. All right. There's 
there's like one thing that we actually do need to keep an eye out for. Uh. Oh yeah. Oh fuck, I didn't have enough stamina to block that. Whoop. Still getting thorns damage in as well. Oh, is this it? Yep, this is it. And we... Hey, there we go. There we go. So if you let that animation play out all the way, he will end up buffing himself so that he will do way more damage. He will do way more damage. But you can stagger him out of it. You can interrupt it. You can interrupt it. If you have a strong enough weapon. Yeah, we're still in this. It's just a matter of, like, pacing. Oh, doing it again. Ah, damn it. Yeah, that's when we actually finished it. So, this might be a problem. This might be a problem. Oh, jeez, yeah. Oh, yeah, you see how much damage he's doing now? This is gonna be a problem. This is gonna be a problem. Okay. muck. Ow. Yeah, thankfully I'm pretty tanky, but still. Oh, God. Yeah, that's a bad move. Hello, Cory. Yes, I hear you. I hear you. Try something here. We're gonna try something. Oh, jeez. Oh, this is bad. Okay. Okay. I'm taking. I'm taking hits, but holy shit, I am actually getting staggered pretty hard. Oh, this is bad. This is actually tough. Oh, God, I can't move. Okay, fuck it. We're just gonna. Jeez. All right. Well, got got the iron flesh out at the very least. So we're just gonna try and tank this as best as we can. We're just gonna go full on unga bunga. Just full on unga bunga. Maybe. Will the power of unga bunga get us through this? Ah, jeez. Yeah, nah, I actually. Nope. That's not what I wanted. Oh, God. This is actually not looking good. I'm almost out of sips. I'm almost out of sips. Uh, might be able to. Come on. Oh, God. Fuck. Okay. Maybe. Ah! Ah, I was down, so I should have taught myself off. 
Oh god. <laughs> okay, not bad for a first try. Not bad for a first try. Absolutely not bad for a first try. We're just gonna need to adjust a couple things here. Absolutely not bad for a first try. Like it looked like a it looked like it was gonna be a one and done. It looked like it was gonna be a one and done. And it would have been great if it, if it would have been. It would have been great if so. <laughs> actually, this might be one of the cases for where the Elizabeth mushroom actually comes into play. Okay, I think we got the approach this time. I think we got the approach. I think we got how we're gonna be doing this. It's gonna be slow and steady. Alright, 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 alright. It was so fucking close, too. It was so fucking close. Just gotta be really patient with it. Just gotta be really patient and wait for the opportunities. Just gotta be really patient. Probably see about burning some of those fireballs like right at the start, too. Corey, what do you do? Oh, jeez. Oh, okay, ow. Alright, really? Can you not? Can you not, please? Oh, jeez, now I'm going in with a health deficit. I'm going in with a health de deficit. That's not good. That's not good at all. Alright. It's fine. It's fine. We can work with this. We can work with this. We got that close with Artorias on the first run. We got that close. We can totally get it again. We can totally get it this time. We can totally get it. We got this shit. We got this shit. We absolutely got this shit. Alright. Alright. Well, while I'm safe, I'm gonna go and check on the cat real quick because she is throwing the fit. Uh, oh, gods, yeah, Corey was absolutely wanting to go out. Corey was wanting out. Hmm. Ooh. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, this one's going to be for realsies. This one's going to be for realsies. And I can use the green blossom as well to help get my stamina to reach in faster. Which definitely going to be necessary for this, and then we also have the regen. Let's actually pop this first, so I can get that going. Oh, I can't stack the effects. I can't stack the effects. God damn it! I can't stack the effects. Son of a bitch. All right, whatever. Whoop. Okay, that actually gets some good damage in. You are quick. Yep. Alright. Oh man, it really doesn't last that long, does it? There we go. Oop. Just the one. Thankfully, these strikes still allow me to block. So I gotta take advantage of that as well. I gotta take advantage of being able to, like, absorb some of the hits. Oh, that was bad timing. That was bad timing. That was bad timing. Jeez. There we go. 
Alright. Time to start tanking. Time to start taking hits. Oh, jeez. Okay, that just saved my ass. Uh, two. Jeez, yeah, that may not be a good idea to do that while he's buffed, because that is actually pretty dangerous. Fuck. Jeez. Nope. Okay. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Oh, I'm actually in a bad spot right now. I deviated from the plan. I deviated from the plan. I. Oh, God. I'm screwed right now. able to stop at that time. Oop, two. Yeah, I think I was able to stop at that time because I kept shooting. I kept shooting at him from afar. There we go. This is the strategy. Whoop! I need to blossom up. Whoop! Yeah, my chances of getting the blender to move in are gonna be slim, so. Oh, yeah, no, that's too heavy of a swing to block. Fuck. <laughs> Carver, how you doing? Thank you for the routine. Thank you for swinging on by. Okay. How you doing? Hope you're having a terrifyingly pleasant time zone. Oh, he's doing the thing. Okay. Barely was able to interrupt that one. Barely was able to interrupt that. How you doing, Carver? Bad time there. Uh, fuck it. There we go. Get that regen. If any, if any, if there's any time to use those mushrooms, it's here. Will I actually be able to get this. Just don't get too carried away. All right. Doing it again. Doing it again. Ah, dang it. Okay, this is bad. You know what? Fuck it. Okay. Oh, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it while I was buffed. Okay, fuck it. Okay. All right, all right. Almost. Oh, that's that's a heavy hit. Steady wins the race. We fucking did it. How goes the wheels? It's going. Swimmingly, like amazingly well. <laughs> Way better than I expected it was going to be go. I was expecting that to take multiple attempts. Holy shit, we did it in two. 
We did that shit in two. Fuck yeah. Let's go. <laughs> oh, and we got his soul. Fuck yes. Whew. Oh, boy. Oh, that, that, that is still one of the best, best fights in the entire game. One of the best fights in the entire game. <laughs> Pro Bone Wheeler. Yep. <laughs> Just that much of a badass. Just that much of a badass. <laughs> and look at this. Here's a, here's a cool detail. The enemy that he stabs during that intro cinematic, it persists. Like, it stays on the field. You can actually look at it. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Best fight in the entire game. Hands down. Like, presentation. Uh, styling. The fact that it's in, like, an actual arena. Like, it's an actual proper fucking one-on-one -on -one fight. You know? Uh, it is a proper one-on-one -on -one encounter. Hell fucking yes. All right, there's definitely a couple of stuff we can unlock here. The Gazebo, Purple Coward's Crystal, Battle of Stoicism. Yeah, basically, like, this is the PvP area. This is basically the PvP area. We're not gonna do PvP because PvP on Dark Souls 1 is absolutely fucking busted. Not really worth the effort. <laughs> uh, but there's also over here that we can take a look at also right over here right on over here uh, yeah I was expecting that to be a much more difficult affair but nah we we did in two we did it in two attempts shit's locked yeah we need to find a key for that one uh, yeah, I was expecting, like, that is normally the wall for many people, uh, for the DLC. Oh, jeez. Corey, hey, you need to settle down, okay? Soul of a hero. Yeah, that, the Artorias fight is considered the wall for the DLC. So, the fact that we were able to get it in two, in two attempts, is, like, bodes well. It bodes well for the rest of the DLC trek. <laughs> it bodes well. Now, there's something else that should pop up here, now that we've completed it. Uh, okay. Not quite yet. Not quite yet. It'll pop up in due time, I imagine. Well, I'm, I think we gotta, like, pop the bonfire first. We gotta pop the bonfire first. There we go. We'll take a well-deserved sit. Whew. Yeah, go ahead and repair some of this stuff. Hell yeah. And we'll take another level up here. Get some extra health. All right, so let's see here. We got Artorius's soul. So here's the thing that's different about Artorius's soul. It is completely covered in abyssal muck. Soul of Lord Gwyn's knight Artorius who was consumed by the abyss. The legend that Artorius repelled the abyss only told half of the story. It seems that he was defeated and his honor preserved by some unsung hero who was the true victor over the abyss. So, who could possibly be this unsung hero? Huh? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Who could possibly be this unsung hero that was actually the one who traversed the abyss? And it's actually one of those things, like, they actually hint to this earlier with uh, Alvina, the uh, cat in the forest. 
Alvina straight up tells you, is like, yeah, yeah, no, that's, a, that's not even remotely true. Artorias didn't actually traverse the abyss. Like, that's fucking hogwash. So, this is also, this is how you're essentially realizing, oh, shit. We're going to find out who, find out the truth of the matter. Uh, let's see. Okay, it is not up yet. I think we need to progress a little bit more before the next thing pops up. Actually, while we're here, uh, let's go ahead and use these. Because we're definitely, we're, this is the second bonfire that we're going to need to kindle up. This is the second bonfire that we're going to need to kindle up. Let's see. Kindle. Right. Kindle. This is like the big, the main hub. This is kind of a risk, hollowing out, unhollowing right here, because this is also a common invasion area. So we'll see how that, we'll see how we fare here. We'll see how far we can go before someone decides to try and pay us a visit. But hey, welcome to Ulusil. It's Mother Nature's kind of taking a bat to this place. It's uh, not looking too good. Look at here. We got the denizens of Ulusil. You know, welcome, very, su such welcoming people, you know? Very welcoming. They're just such lovely people, you know? Look at them. Look at them coming over to greet us with open arms. Very big open, open arms. Like, seriously, the arms are fucking humongous. The better to welcome people with. <laughs> the better to welcome people with. There we go. That is a sound right there. That is, that is definitely a sound. Okay, yeah, this this will be a shortcut that we can unlock eventually. Yeah, prime real estate and friendly neighbors. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> like, who wouldn't want to live here? Who wouldn't want to live here? You know? Like, you get this amazing view. Uh, you, you get, it's all, you get nice nature, natural surroundings. Lots of screaming in the distance. <laughs> the ambience is just great. Just this, the amazing sounds of nature. Uh, everyone's just, everyone's just wanting to, like, say hi. Everyone's wanting to say hi, you know? Like this lovely person right here. Like this lovely individual. <laughs> uh, such a ri rich and his such rich historic and cultured locale. Oh, there's like a bunch of history here. So much history in this place. <laughs> uh, like, yeah, the history of a ser like the, the the history of how a serpent approached the denizens and went. You know what you guys need to harvest the humanity of Manus, the primeval man. <laughs> Uh, which turned out so well. It worked out so well for them, too. It just worked out so well. Amazingly well. Let's see. Okay, I think I see. remember what I need to do there. Uh, I'm actually surprised how quickly we're kind of getting through this. This is actually probably still going to be like uh, a sing uh, probably still going to comprise the entire session, but uh, we're actually making some pretty good progress so far. We're actually making some pretty good progress. So there's another reason why I like. There it is. There it is. Yeah, this was the reason why I reversed humanity because you get this invasion 
Chester decides to pay you a visit because he is an asshole. Look at that crossbow too. He's got a pretty sick crossbow and a unique move too. That leg sweep is actually very effective at like breaking guard and causing you to get stag staggered. So as long as we can kind of keep our distance. There we go, bait out the sweep. Bait out the lake sweep. There we go. That was the main reason why I wanted to reverse my Halloween here. <laughs> so yeah, he does inv he does invade you. And at that point, like, his intentions are made clear. It's like, okay, you're, you're not a good person. You're very much not a good person. That much is made clear. Oh, hello. How are you? Can I, like, lock onto you from here? Okay, yeah, nah, you're too far out. And I believe... Yeah, be wary of, wary of chest. Yeah, this chest... Right in the middle of this little platform here. Like, totally inconspicuous. Totally... In the, could... Nothing... Nothing be, could be wrong with this one, right? Why would you think that? Why, why would you ever think that there's nothing sus about anything in this game? About anything? <laughs> we get a very good carving. Yeah, this, air, this DLC also introduces the uh, emotes. The throwable emotes that you can utilize, that you can see in like every other Souls game onward. And, even, and the ones in this, and the ones in Elden Ring, also on top of all that. Uh. But yeah, it's like they leave that, they deliberately leave that chest out, right where you can see it, and it's like, it's basically a way to make sure, see if you're paying attention, you know, see if you still have your wits about you, because that is an absolute trap. Like, a chest like that, in the middle of an open area, like, completely unguarded. Like, you think it's gonna be that- you think the game is gonna be that nice? You think the game is gonna be that nice to you? I need a hug? Oh no. Oh no. Did something happen in Vermintide? Did something happen in Vermintide? Oh, jeez. Is there a- Oh. Okay, this part I know is a little fucky because it gets a little complicated. Oh, hello. Speaking of traps, yeah, luring you in with the item and then the enemy drops down behind you. Yeah, that's also a trap. That's also very much a trap. This area I know really sucks because there's a lot of enemies in here and I believe there's a caster somewhere nearby also. No, but I just want a hug. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, we can totally give hugs. We can totally give hugs. We can absolutely give hugs. Uh, hold on. Let me see if I can. Let's get my. Let's get my. Oh, that's Tom. Oh, they're right. Okay. Right. Forgot about that. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Uh, let's see. Uh. Give me one second to make sure I am not poisoned. There we go. Okay. There we go. Okay. Alright. <laughs> Alright. So, want, you want hugs? Alright, here we go. Yeah, we'll give you hugs. There we go. Here's a hug for you. Here's a ghostly hug for you. I mean, I'm intangible, so you probably can't really feel it, but, like, I'm, I'm doing my best here. I'm doing my best, okay? I'm doing my best. <laughs> Doing my best. Uh, I can only do so much with a non-corporeal body. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's see here. Uh, here we go. Oh, that didn't work. Let's see. Oh, jeez, I need to get it on the other. over the ledge. Shoot over the ledge, please. Over the ledge. Okay. Uh, oh, 
Oh, jeez, yeah. Just out of range. Jeez, just out of reach. That's annoying. That is a little annoying. Alright. We're gonna need to, like, get you a little bit closer. Aren't we? There we go. Oh, God. As soon as I fucking... Okay. Actually, it might be easier if I do it with this hand. No, it's not. Son of a bitch. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to change our strategy a little bit here. Alright. Oh, yeah, and there's the other caster. There's the other caster. Yeah. Yeah, this room is very fucked. This is pretty much one of the most fucked rooms here. Because there's just so many enemies, and if you're not careful, you can aggro, absolutely, you can absolutely aggro everything at once and just make life miserable. So we're gonna try something here. First get you out. There we go. Ow. And that shit hurts too. That shit actually hurts. Why did I think that was an invisible wall there? I know this game. I know it's, I know not to fall for that. It's the Elden Ring mindset. It's the Elden Ring mindset of just exploring those... Just popping every wall you see. Just in case. There we go. Whoop. Uh, where are you going? Where are you going? Okay. Oh, we got we got another. There we go. Alright. Uh jeez, yeah, we're just kinda taking this one bit at a time. And yeah, this is where the Avalon definitely comes into play here. This is where the Avalon absolutely comes into play because, yeah, you can see firsthand the amount of damage that I can put out. Pretty reliably, too, actually. Pretty reliably. All right. Fatty. Jeez. All right. Now let's try it. Now, now's the part where I try to remember which direction is progress. And which just leads to cool stuff. So there's also a key that we need to get. There's also, there's still a key that we need to get. Let's see here. Try light. Oh, right, this whole thing. So you hear that little do, do. And then the et message that lets you know is like, hey, try a light. This shit. There are walls that will only reveal themselves if you have a light source. They will only reveal themselves if you have a light source. Which is another level of bullshit. And we get a red Titanite chunk for figuring that out. <laughs> oh, there's actually another like puzzle similar to that one. Back in the other direction. Let's see if I can actually get there, because probably better to try and get while stuff is cleared out. Because there is, we do still need to find a key. There is a key that we absolutely need to be able to locate in order to unlock the room of a friend. Uh, if I can just remember where it's at, that's going to be the tricky part. Uh, oh, I like drop down there or. Okay, I think I could drop down there. Uh, actually, might be easier to go about it like this. 
yeah, easier to go about like this. Whoop. There we go. Soul of the Brave Warrior. And there's also a couple pyromancy spells I can get around here also, if I can just remember where they're at. Let's see. Uh, okay. Over here. Hello. Hello. Oh, yeah. Well, there's you first. Ow. Good push. Good push. Uh, I almost walked off the edge. I almost walked right off the edge there. I haven't really paying attention. Uh, okay. Oh, right. There's two of them in this room. Oh, God. That's right. There's two in this room. I forgot that there's two in this room. Fuck. <laughs> okay. I absolutely forgot that there were two of those in here. Ow. Okay. Right, right. This is... Not easy. Alright, we'll duck in here first. Actually, I think there's a... There's... Okay, it's not this one. Okay. Whoo, boy. Okay. Can we... Kind of edge you out? Can we edge you out? Okay, we absolutely can edge you. We can absolutely edge you. There we go. There we go. Just... Edge you until you're taken care of. There we go. Whoop. There we go. Ow. Good push. And... Okay. Whew. Off the back dash. Off the back dash. All right. And a reward. Dark Orb. Hell yeah. <laughs> I think that one is actually a sorcery? Uh, let's see. Uh, yep, Abyss Sorcery discovered by an Ulusil Sorcerer on the brink of madness. In contrast to standard soul sorceries, Abyss Sorceries are weighty and inflict physical damage. Perhaps human souls, because of their humanity, produce sorceries with more tangible presence. So basically, uh, abyss spells are physical in nature, rather than dealing magical damage. And as such, they apply, to, they're a bit heavier. They deal a bit, some heavier damage. Oh, hey! Uh, oh god, what did I pick up? It was like ivory something. Ivory something? Uh, okay, I'm sorry. Okay, sorry. <laughs> it's another emote. It's another emote. Uh, okay. So, I'm trying to remember where it is that we need to go. Ah, uh, yes, my tier 7 magic, the drop kick. <laughs> I mean, it kind of is. It kind of is that kind of magic, you know? Like, it's that fucking potent. It is absolutely that fucking potent. It's essentially like, yeah, that the, like, abyss spells are like magical drop kicks. Uh. Okay, sorry. I'm trying to remember where I need to go next, because there's, like, another spot. Uh, down there, maybe? I need down there, or I need to... Okay. I think it's down here, actually. Is it this spot? There it is! Yeah, let there be light. Yeah, and those are dev messages, too, that serve as hints. Silver Pendant. Okay, that's the thing. That is going to help us in the main boss of this DLC. 
is absolutely completely gonna come in handy. Okay, just gotta remember where I need to go, and how to get back over, and shabamzos. Right back where we were. All right, and now we can go ahead and put our pig helm back on. There we go. Yeah, I want to go ahead and take care of, find that at the very least. Well, we're kind of got this area a bit cleaned out. Yeah, we still got eight sips left, so we can keep going. We can absolutely keep going. Mm -hmm. All right, back down, back into the house area. First time I went through here, like, I was looking all over this place just to see if I could find any secrets. You know, like, rolling on top of buildings and shit, trying to see if there's any, like, specific, uh, alternative pathways that could be available. Basically, just trying to see if there was any secrets that, like, no one had found yet. I was just wanting to be that... Wanted to be that person that was like, yo, check out this cool shit that I found that no one else has been able to locate yet. Like, that kind of thing. That kind of thing. Uh, okay, I think I, I think there's a way that I can actually, like, hold on a sec. Is there a way that I can, like, hit that with this? Aha! <laughs> Night... Dark fog. Yeah, no no target lock either. Did that without a fucking target lock. Man, I am a badass. I really am a badass. Holy shit. I am such a fucking badass. Let's see, it went that way. I believe this is progress. I believe this is progression. Let's see. Uh, okay, this is progression, but this is also a shortcut. <gasps> shortcut! Oh yeah, there's a lot of shortcut porn in this area. There's a lot of shortcut porn here. Like, yeah, see, see where it put, see where that puts us at? See where that puts us at? Look at that. Shortcut pawn! Glorious shortcut pawn! Okay, I wanna like explore. I think that's the end of this immediate spot, so I wanna try and look around a little bit more. I wanna try and look around just a little bit more. Yeah, there's that. I think there's definitely a few things, a few more things that we can grab in here. Where was that key at? Where was that key at? So there's a couple of spots that we need to get to still. Or at least one spot in particular that I'm trying to recall. Ah, there it is. That's the spot. This is, this is the spot. Hey, how's it going? Sorry, am I interrupting anything? Hope I'm not interrupting dinner. What you cooking? Stew? Ooh, I could go for some stew. Hope you don't mind if I uh, drop in for a bite to eat. Oh God! Ah! 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 Hubris was gonna get to me at some point, but it's like, looks like you were the bite to eat. <laughs>
Oh my fuck. I completely forgot about that one. I completely forgot about this mimic. I completely forgot about it. And fucking heart my hubris. I had a feeling my hubris was gonna come back to bite me in the ass at some point. Jeez. I'm actually surprised I didn't just outright die from that. There we go. Crest key. Fucking hell. Oh, I... <laughs> oh, I didn't want to drop down the... Yeah, I... Jesus fucking hell. <laughs> fucking hell. I can't believe I forgot about that mimic. I can't believe I forgot about that mimic. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Oh, jeez. Okay, I think this is... Yeah, this drops out, out over here. Poop, poops us out over here. Poops us out over there. There we go. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, God. That, that is... That's that is hilarious. That's hilarious. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. So Lopia is taking a fucking shitter. Shit. Okay, here we go. Alright. Hello. Yes, I was expecting I was expecting you. There we go. Uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. There's bullshit here too. Oh yeah. There is absolutely bullshit here as well. Woohoo! Yeehaw! Oh, right, the fog. Right, the fog. I forgot about the fog. Actually, okay. Yep. Yep. Let's see. There we go. Wow, still alive. Ow. Ow. Oh, that was a terrible idea. Should probably get cover first. There we go. All right. All right, hello, how are you? Yes, I am here. Oh, the staff actually deals damage. Okay. Whee! <laughs> All right. One last challenge before we're able to actually get out of this section. And I'm gonna try and see about switching bolts for this one. Uh, here we go. Is this because this thing sucks? This thing absolutely sucks. It is incredibly tough. Has stupidly high defense. And does a quite frankly ridiculous amount of damage. I mean sometimes it's almost worth questioning if it's even worth fighting. Alright. You don't take the fire too well. Jeez, look at how tough this thing is. Look at how tough this thing is. Okay. Yeah, out of fireballs. Let's see how you take this. Okay. That. Uh. Ow. You definitely don't want to get hit by that too much. There we go. Woof. Hey, tr drops chain leg chain leggings. That's amazing. Oh boy. All right. There we go. Hey, we did it. That section's cleared. That section. Oh, jeez. <laughs> God, it really has been a while. I absolutely forgot about that scare. I absolutely forgot about that. God, it really has been a while. It really has been a while. Holy shit. 
Okay, that's a player. Jeez, I absolutely forgot about that. Yeah, the enemy that rides up the elevator just to greet you. Just to greet you. Fucking hell. Alright, yeah, let's go ahead and take a seat here. Whew. Okay. Alright. So far, we're actually doing it. So far, we're making pretty good time. Uh, I do not have... Uh, yeah, that's all... Yeah, those are all sorceries. There's a couple of dark pyromancy that we can get, but unfortunately, nothing that we can... Nothing here that we can utilize. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's not actually, like, a lot of these spells are stuff that we really just cannot utilize. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I mean, we can technically use Gravelord or Gravelord Sword Dance because it has no stat requirements, but it's a miracle, so it still scales with faith. Like, yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right. This next stretch is going to be interesting. It is going to be interesting. Yeah, let's go ahead plug that in for now. Actually, you know what? I need to check on a couple things. I need to check on a couple things. So, I'm gonna go ahead and take a quick break and uh, go ahead and take a couple things. It's actually it's still very, pretty warm in here, so let's get some air in real fast. And, uh, yeah. Because the next section is gonna be, might be a little on the rough side, so I'm gonna need to like, uh, gonna need to take a quick break, breather, just to prepare for all that. Because down here is where shit's going to get weird. Shit's going to get weird, and it's going to get silly, and it's going to get... We're going to encounter some very unique situations that I don't know how this build is going to do. So, we'll see. <laughs> I will go and take a quick break, and I will be back shortly. Uh, hang tight, and uh, yeah, we'll continue further into the darkness.
All right. I am back. <laughs> I has returned. We are going to get right back into the thick of things. And boy, is it getting thick. Is it getting fucking thick down here? Let's go ahead and kindle this bonfire, because I got I've got a soft humanity on me that I might as well utilize. <laughs> might as well utilize it. Oh alright. Welcome to the abyss. So I'm, I know Cory, shit's dark. Shit's dark as fuck. It is absolutely fucking dark in here. And, like, even having an extra light source barely helps. It barely helps. Like, this is actual, like, proper abyss darkness. You're not gonna be able to mitigate this shit. You just gotta deal with it. You just have to deal with it. Chasm of the Abyss. <gasps> Lizard? Fuck. Get back here, you son of a bitch. There we go. Hey. Take those twinklings. Okay, yeah, and there's some points. To let you know what's going on. Also, there's that. There's that. So, if you want a view that just makes you, like, absolutely shit yourself, like, all of that coming from the darkness with the red eyes, the only thing you're actually able to see, yeah, that is an absolute, like, pants-shitting scenario, because it's like, what the fuck am I looking at? And then you get a little closer, and then you realize, oh, it's just these things. It's just those things. Being absolute assholes. And the caster. And the caster on top of all that. So yeah, fun spot. Fun spot right here. Yeah, try and see if we can kind of lower these ones. Behind some cover. What you doing, Cory? Huh? What you doing? What you doing, Cory? What you doing, Cory? I apologize for the cat. She's causing so much noise right now. There we go. What were you guarding? Dark bead. I believe that's an also a sorcery. Okay, and this is marking the way to progress. This is marking progression. So there is... Oh, there you are. There are absolutely a couple things that we need to be able to do while we're down here. Yes, I know exactly what we're doing. What to do, Corey. I know exactly what to do, Corey. You're being... You're silly. You're being silly, Corey. You're being silly. Okay. Okay. I think we're about coming up to where the first point. Also here... Oh, look. These things. These little uh, ghost-like entities. That's humanity. That's living humanity. They are living humanity. It is absolutely wild to look at. It is absolutely Corey, why are why why are you making such a fuss? Corey, you wanted to come in here. You wanted to come here. Come here, Corey. Come here. What you doing, Corey? What you doing? Oh, they're coming up to say hi to us. They're coming up to say hi to us. Yeah, look at that. See? See? See how friendly they are? See how friendly they are? See how friendly they are? They're coming right on up to you. Oh they do and then you realize, oh shit, they're not friendly. They are absolutely not friendly. They also do not have physical forms. They do not have physical forms. And they have, so they have no collision. They have no collision. They will just fly right on into you without a care in the world. 
And they drop fuck all for souls. They drop fuck all for souls. Also, give me one sec. I need to tend to my cat. What is your deal, Corey? What is your deal? What is your deal? Hey, Lewis. Hey, Lewis. Do you want to say hi to chat? Is that what you want to do? You seem to be insistent on trying to make yourself heard. But every time I bring you up to the microphone, you, you clam up. What, what, why? Why, why, why you like this? You silly child. You silly child. You are such a silly child. Like, look at this. She, I, she, I, she's looking at you, chat. She's looking at you, chat, and just, like, just, now she's just like, what? 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 What do you, what do you, want, what do you want from me? What do you want from me? Yeah, yeah. What, chat wants you to be able to actually talk to them directly, you know? If you're gonna make such a big fuss, chat wants you to talk to them directly, you know? You Anything? 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 <gasps> nope. <laughs> you are such a little goober. You are such a little goober. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Uh, she is such a silly cat. She is a silly cat. What were we doing? Right. Uh, living humanity. Living humanity. Like, look at that. Look at this. We don't need to go that direction right now, though. We want to go this direction. Okay, good. So this is absolutely the direction we wanted to go in. Because... No, oh, jeez! What the fuck? Oh, they're following me. Oh, they're following me. Okay, so I was gonna say, yeah, that is absolutely Alvina. That is absolutely Alvina. And the reason... Oh, jeez, okay, this is gonna be awkward. Uh, yeah. There we go. Okay. I didn't think they would actually follow me this far down. I did not think they would actually follow me. Anyway, uh, the reason we're here is Alvina is, well, you need to actually follow Alvina here. You absolutely need to be able to follow her. Because she will lead you to something fairly important. Fog wall ahead, illusory wall ahead. There's a shortcut. First, hold on. Need to fucking take care of these things before they try to fucking just aggressively bump into me. There we go. Yeah, the fact that they're like, they're actual ghosts. So the fact that they're actually straight up incorporeal actually makes them really difficult to deal with if you're not careful because you can just slip right on through them there we go. yeah you seem to be intent to just do your own thing yeah here we go it's a hidden little alcove over here And, oh, look! Oh, 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 oh. Oh, fucking hell. Jeez. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It begins. We're gonna absolutely do this. Fuck, 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 fuck. fuck. <laughs> you see how fucking, like, careful you have to be with this shit? You see how careful you have to be? Oh. Wrong bolts. There we go. Yeah. So you gotta clear all of these hu humanity spirits out. You gotta clear these humanity spirits out. Because someone 
is in the middle there, waiting for us to bail them out. There we go. Let's see if we can get a closer look. Yeah, see there? It's Sif! It's Sif! <laughs> it's Sif! Uh, this is actually a much safer method of dealing with these things, so we'll just deal with, do with this. There we go. Hey, now that we've cleared all that out. Sif is freed. And we get the cleansing great shield. Alright, hold on. Gonna put the cat up again. Alright, alright. Since you insist on making noise. Since you insist on making noise. I swear, I'm just gonna have like a counter on that's just like uh, number of times Corey has made a disturbance, or made me get, get up and tend to her, or something to that effect. And it's just gonna keep track of how many times Corey's just been, like, an absolute brat. Anyway, we have freed the puppy! We have freed the puppy! That is absolutely going to come into play in a bit. But voice... Shortcut! Shortcut pawn! Pony, pony, pawn! Pony, pony, pawn! Pony, pony, no, pony! And it plops us right over here! Right over at the, the Coliseum. Right over at the Coliseum. Pretty nifty shortcut. Pretty nifty shortcut. And yeah, you come back here, and you're like, Hey, Chester, what the fuck was that all about? Oh, you. You have quite some nerve. Or are you just thick? Fine, then. What is it that you need? He's pretty salty. You, you, you can tell he's pretty salty, because he got his ass handed to him when he tried to invade you. Did you really slay Knight Artorias? I'd heard the Abyss found him first, but even still, that's absolutely treacherous. Yes, magnificently so. <laughs> he seems to get a kick out of that. Believe it or not, Ulysseel has brought the Abyss upon itself, fooled by that toothy serpent. Mm. They upturned the grave of primeval man and incited his ornery wrath. What could they have been thinking? Ah, to you and I, it's all ancient history. You have to ask yourself, does it really matter? <laughs> yeah, so he, so he lets you know what exactly happened with Ulusil and how it got to be the condition that it was in. Well, I've had enough of you. He's still quite well, salty. I've had enough. Yeah, very salty about getting his ass absolutely handed to him. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we can definitely collect some humanity from him. Uh, I think we think he only has like a limited number. I'll be seeing you if you survive your travels. I don't know if he does anything else afterwards, but I'm not really sure. But, won't we'll argue over additional humanity. Now, let's see if something else happens over here. We haven't sat down in a hot minute. Uh, let's see. Actually, yeah, we can just kind of set the, use this bonfire over here to kind of reset ourselves. Try stabbing in the back. There we go. Man, that one has a lot of up upvotes, apparently. Alright. So we got a key. We got the key. I believe it's the key that opens this one. This place right on over here. I 
I'm actually surprised how much progress we're making here. Like, it's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. There we go. Press key. Burp, 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 burp. Hey, look at this. Look at this badass over here. Sup? Mm. Corey, settle down. Have we? Thou must be the one who freed Artorias. An old friend he was. Thanks to thee, he left this world with honor intact. And here I am, retired and blind. A little help to thee, I'm afraid. Say hello to Hawkeye Go. If I seek it to explore this domain, be wary of a black dragon. I fear thee no match for this terrible beast. So yeah, he also gives you a warning right away, right away about the dragon that you encountered earlier. Mm, there's very little to be said. What good is a dog with no hands to hunt? But I'm lucky to be alive, I suppose. So yeah, he just kind of stays here, self-imprisoned, making little, uh, yeah, he makes those little uh, emotes, uh, capsules that we picked up so far. If he actually makes these, like, he imbues his voice into them. Farewell, human. Lead thy life as thou seest fit. Yeah, so, like, let's go ahead and use one, for example. Uh, like this one. This. Very good! Yep, he imbues his own voice into these things. <laughs> it's well, very interesting. Comes to I believe he also sells. Yep, he sells a couple more. He sells a couple more carvings. Uh, ooh, perfect. He sells large Titanite shards as well. Awesome. I believe I need a couple, actually. And he also sells great arrows for use in great bows. Let's see. Yeah, so we will come back to see him in a little bit. For the time being, we could probably grab some of those large Titanite shards. I believe I need some of those. There we go. Let's see. Uh, only two? Oh wow, he actually charges quite a bit for them. I didn't even realize. I, I didn't even realize how much he was actually charging for them. Alright. So we got that open. We got that open. Step one. That is the first step of that. The next step comes in the Coliseum itself. Assuming that we've progressed enough to cause it to pop up. Now that we've sat down. Let's see. Still no. Huh. Wild. Okay, actually, we may need to go a little bit further. We may need to go a little bit farther to get it to actually show up. But we've got our little checkpoint. We've got a checkpoint at the very least. That's the important part. So now we can just kind of go right on down this way here. Go right back over. Uh, oh, not that way. Not that way. Uh, is this the right elevator? I think it was this one at the very least. Uh, is it this one? Hold on, now I'm confused. Is this the right elevator that I came in? It was the other one. Was was it the other one? Oh God, I'm get I'm actually getting myself confused now. No way, it was this one. It was this one. It was this elevator. Okay. I was getting myself confused. Like, there was... Like, I forgot there was like two elevators in the area. 
There's two elevators. All right. All right. Back in here. So, we can largely just kind of leave these things be while we find our way around this place. If I remember how to get through exactly. Yeah, here we go. We go through here. Just follow the path downward. Try to see if we can avoid getting pincered by the humanity ghosts. Yeah, because otherwise, like, they're not really, like, a major threat. It's just a bit of a hassle, you know? It's just a bit of a hassle. There we go. Oh, you can actually still damage them. Hey, there we go. Black flame. Oh, I can actually roll through them with this. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I can actually roll through them. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Yeah, black flame is a black, a dark pyromancy skill. So that is already immediate. Like, it is a strong, essentially a stronger version of combustion for the most part, is essentially a stronger version of combustion. Now I gotta remember the actual path to progress. Oh, hello. Damn, really? Okay, extra humanity. Great, jeez, one swing. One swing and I'm poisoned, holy shit. There we go. Miscreant, jeez. All right, yeah, this, this is direct route to progress. Okay, yeah, and I remember, yeah, this is where we kind of came in from originally. There we go. Okay. Carefully navigate our way through here, because yeah, Shit's still really fucking dark, and you can absolutely fall off. You can absolutely fall off here. Just gotta make sure there's no items around here. Ah, there it is. To win humanities. Ah, there it is. Alright. Okay, there, there actually is a couple other things over here. Whoop. Ah, here we go. White tie neck slab. So if you're looking for to max out your holy weapon, there you go. All right. There it is. Uh, okay, I see an enemy there, but right now, let's go ahead and set an item that we are definitely going to need. We are definitely going to need. Let's see, there it is. Silver Pendant, Deflects Dark. One of the ancient treasures of An Orlando, presented to Artorius for facing the Abyss. Effectively deflects the dark of the abyss, especially in its magic forms. Yeah, engraved with the crest of Artorius. So, this thing is pretty invaluable for this fight in particular. And actually, as a matter of fact, in order to make it so that we can get to it easier, I'm gonna like make it so that we only have to go. Make it so that we can only only have to go through a couple slots to be able to reach it. Yep. Go away, please. Jesus fuck. Stop. Stop. Why mini? All right. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, there's there's shit going on down there. You can actually see the eyes of, from up here. You can see those eyes from up here. 
Yep, they actually do drop humanity. The humanity ghosts do, in fact, drop humanity. The humanity ghosts absolutely drop humanity. Yep. Yep. Okay. Just kind of deal with you. There we go. And one more thing over here. Soul of a hero. All right. Yeah, the fact that you can actually see those eyes from up here is the most, like, unnerving part. Fatty. Jeez. All right, here we go. This is the big one. This is the main attraction for the expansion. Mm. All right. I don't know how this is going to go. But we're going to do our best effort. We're going to give it our best effort. Top myself off just in case. And buff for stamina. What could that be? Oh, it's the hat! It's the hand again! Again, we're grabbed by the ghoulies. Again, getting grabbed by the ghoulies. there. That is not what I wanted, but basically, yeah, you get a summon sign right down there on the bottom of the area rather than where you come in. And since we were able to save Sif, we can summon them for this fight. So fuck yeah. Let's go. Let's go, Sif. Okay, I can actually, I actually can block that to some extent. Oh, this is gonna be awkward. This is gonna be awkward. Short reach. Whoop! That didn't work. Okay. Yeah, Sif is really tanky, so if you're able to summon them for this fight, it is very much recommended to do so. Ah, damn it. I was trying to see if I could block how much of that I could block. Turns out, only some of it. Yeah, that combo it will absolutely wreck your shit. That combo that he does will absolutely wreck your shit. block everything he has. I really don't want to block everything he has. Ah, jeez. At the same time, he's not making this easy. Oof! Yeah, he's not making this easy. He is not making this easy. That's the kind of stuff that we gotta be able to do. Whoop. There we go. Ah! I gotta be able to get any closer to that for the blender. Yeah, this is tough. This is actually tough. Okay, ow! Okay, maybe not quite that. Whoop! Okay, yep, get away from that. Stand up. 
There we go. Okay, still getting some hits in. Ow. That didn't quite work. Whoop! Ah, jeez, I mistimed that. I absolutely mistimed that. Okay. There we go. Jeez. I really should should be actually trying to avoid this. Uh-oh. This is where we need the This is where we need it for! Yeah, that shit is absolutely where we need the that amulet for. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, that was Wow, the sound is fucking absolutely... Oh god, how am I alive? How am I alive? Oh my god. Oh my god, what is happening? Ah! Dang it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that would... Absolutely went to shit at the end there. That absolutely went to shit at the end. Jeez. That absolutely went to shit. All right. Well, we got a new spell at the very least. Uh, uh, let's see. Where is it? Here we go, Black Flame. Pyromancy discovered from the dark of the abyss by a pyrom pyromancer who wandered into Ulisil. Conjure a great black flame in one's palm. Black flames are weighty and inflict physical damage, enough to smack it away the mightiest of shields. So, yeah. Stronger pyroman pyromancy. Might come in handy here. Might actually come in handy here. Alright. Ah, now it's up. Now we have this. Here we go. How's it going? Made a little bit, little grave for Artorius. You, is that not the soul of the man who fell on this spot? He was a dear friend. I wish to pay proper respect with that soul. Would you be willing to part with it? Yeah, sure. We're not really going to be doing much with it. Thank you. You are very kind. Please take this. I no longer need it. Dark Silver Tracer and Gold Tracer. May the Lord guide thee. So, this is Siren. She is the last of the four Knights of Gwyn that we have yet to run into and it's often theorized that Artorius and Siren had a thing so she came in and actually constructed this little grave marker for Artorius right on the spot where he fell at May the Lord and so the so her effectively giving you her weapons essentially means like she's fully retired. She's absolutely fully retired. Hanging it up and calling it and calling it there. Yeah. Dark silver dagger used by Lord's Blade Siren. Gwyn's four knights. The victim is first distracted by dazzling streaks of the gold tracer, then stung by the vicious poison of this dagger. And yeah, it does a lot a poison damage. And look at that. Like, S scaling with dex. S scaling with dexterity. And a high critical. Absolutely high critical. <laughs> it is a, a nasty combination there. And yeah, the gold tracer is a curved sword. Yeah, this one does bleed. Yeah. Edging the darkness with dire streaks of gold. Yeah, so she basically, like, gives you her weapons and, uh, calls it there. And then, now that you've kind of gotten her weapons, you can do another thing with her as well. 
<laughs> you humans, always take me what you please. Then I shall do the same. Whoop. Yeah, you can absolutely fight her. You can absolutely fight her. Not the toughest fight, but she does have a couple tricks. You basically just gotta keep her, make sure she doesn't get going with her physical attacks. Oh, you humans, my dear. And you get Seer and Set. Yay! We did a murder! <laughs> we did a murder. Uh, a rousing murder. <laughs> so yeah, you get Seer and Set. You absolutely get Seer and Set. Uh, the Cyclops headpiece is common to all of the Lord's blades, but Siren was determined to earn this soft porcelain mask as a unique decoration of honor. Mask is lined with ivory locks of hair. So yeah, you can absolutely get Siren's armor. <laughs> uh, common robe common to all of the Lord's blades. These deadly women shift nimbly between layers of darkness, etching streaks of gold into the night air, and planting visions of terror into the minds of their targets. So yeah, she's a badass. She's absolutely a badass. Also kind of weird, like, despite the fact that she gives you her weapons, she absolutely draws her weapons oh, in turn. You have quite fine. She absolutely draws her weapons in turn. I'll be seeing you if you. Which is kind of weird, you know? You would think that she would be, like, weaponless if you aggro her, but... I guess in that case, there would be like, wouldn't really be much of a fight. <laughs> she, she, she still gotta put up some kind of defense. All right, let's try this again, shall we? Wait, do I have to be? Do I have to be? On? Do I have to be? Unhollowed to be able to summon Sif. We'll find out. If we do, then I got like plenty of humanity to work with. I got plenty of humanity to work with. If that's the case. Am I going in the right direction? I don't think I'm going the right in the right direction. Hold on. I am not going in the right direction. I'm getting absolutely turned around. I'm getting absolutely turned around. Uh, right, this way. Jeez. Like, I literally just went in this direction and I'm already getting myself lost. Jeez. Ah! Here we go. You out! Here we go. Alright. It's a fairly quick walk this way. It's a fairly quick walk. Don't have to worry about too much in terms of confrontation. And yeah, you hear that little hum that they give off. It's slightly unnerving. It's slightly unnerving. All right. Round two. Round two. Yeah, you get the cutscene again. We can skip it though. I do need to be on hollow in order to summon Sif because it, that's the rules of the summoning. Alright. We'll get. Well, fuck it. We'll try it. We'll try it like this, I guess. Yeah, the later hits on that actually don't hurt as bad. Oh yeah, that doesn't do nearly as much as it should. It should. Well, because he's, he's a dark descent to me, of course it's not going to do a lot on him. Ow. Okay. 
absolutely guard his attack while I'm attacking myself. Fuck! Gods. Gods, yeah, the... Wow, the fucking sound is getting distorted. Holy shit. Wow, the sound is getting distorted. to try to avoid. Ow. Ah. Yeah, I can't get really get the blunder on that. Fuck. Okay. At the very least, the last hit of that combo aren't nearly as devastating. God, he's putting his abyss in my catacombs. <laughs> oh, jeez, yep. Oh, gods, I forgot about the fucking tail swing too. All right, you know what? We're gonna try something silly here. We're gonna try something silly because this one is probably food barred anyway. is working to an extent. Problem is, he's got such a wonky hitbox. He's got such a wonky hitbox. Hard to get the proper bonga on this thing. Okay, yeah, nice. Fucking hell. Is the audio like getting super distorted on the stream as well? Or is it just on my headphones? There we go. Yeah, this is the part where the and it's gonna come into play. There we go. Okay. Yeah, this is gonna be a bit of a wall here. Because this thing is not doing as much damage to him as it should be. Because I'm not really able to land the blender. Ow. 
Yeah, only when he shoots his dark goop. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot. Whoa. Oh, God. He has such a bizarre hitbox. It really makes it hard to hit a lot of things. That's not the right button. That was not the right button. I pushed it too many times. Dodge timing. Starting to get the dodge timing. Uh, so I'm gonna run out of. I'm gonna run out of healing. I'm gonna run out of healing. So this run is probably hard. This run is probably just not gonna happen. Wow, I actually managed to avoid that. Ah, damn it. Okay. Definitely not able to block that whole thing. Definitely am not able to block that whole thing. Wow, that sound. That sound is just going fucking absolutely. I'm gonna need to. I'm gonna need to start the fucking. Is it is it coming like that? Is it like actually pulling out the stream audio as well when he does that? down in the stream because yeah that's just breaking the fucking audio when he the dark orb attacks are just breaking the fucking audio and I I imagine it's not sounding well I imagine it's not sounding well <laughs> okay uh so it's actually getting it was actually getting I was actually getting there. Let me actually try it one more time without having the summon, summon Sif. Because I think I was starting to get the rhythm for the dodges. Getting the rhythm for that is going to be the tough part. I think I was starting to get the hang of it, though. I think I was starting to get the hang of it. And I may try to do some, like, range stuff as well. Yeah, because I don't think my pyromancy is going to be a whole do a whole lot outside of iron flesh. Like iron flesh can help me to excuse me tank some hits, but I'm still getting knocked back. So it's like it's kind of canceling out. If I can get some more chances to, like, do... Oh, jeez. If I can get more opportunities to do the blender, then that'll be a huge difference. I can actually get some hits in. But the problem is, like, his hitbox is so weird and disjointed and all over the fucking place. It's really hard to get a hit on him with just about any kind of weapon, really. It really is hard to get a solid hit on him. Alright. Trying this again. We're gonna try this again. 
And I have hiccups. That's gonna make things easier. That's not gonna make things easy. Ow, that was a bad time to try to top my health off. I wonder if I can like go ahead and just pop Iron Flesh now and get some early damage in. Yeah, try and get some early damage in. Because I'm gonna need to be able to move when he does the fucking dark beat, the dark beat shit. Yeah, there we go. Get some of that early damage in. Jeez. All right. Get some space. There we go. Oh yeah, there's the combo. Jeez, wow, that was really far. Shit. Jeez. He's got such reach with his attacks, too. He's got a shit ton of reach. Blender going. Come on. Ah. Oh, that. Oh, well, that's even worse. Oh, well, that's even worse with Iron Flesh up, actually. That's even worse with Iron Flesh up. Because I can't get the. I can't get knocked down. So he's just like. Battery on me and the damage, the damage scaling. Fuck! Doesn't come in when it should. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, this is. Oh God, this is rough. Alright. I'm like, fuck off. I am mistiming all of my rolls. Fucking hell. I am mistiming everything here. Oh yeah, yay. Fuck ah Gods. This is oh gods. Yeah, I generally never usually enjoy fighting this because yeah, it's aggravating as all fucking get out. It is aggravating as all fucking get out. It's just really hard to get a swing in edge wise. Oh god, yeah, see, that's the fucking bullshit. That combination swing right there, you try... You try to dodge it, but then you get caught on like the second or third swing. And you can't block the whole straight either. You can't block the whole straight. So you gotta be very patient in trying to get your swings in. On the plus side, I'm actually surprised that my thorns are actually doing damage. Like, the fact that my thorns are actually doing damage to them is actually kind of surprising. Maybe Doggo should help out. Yeah, I was trying to see if I could do it without Sith, but I may need to summon them in for this. I may need to summon them in just to serve as a distraction. God. Ugh. Yeah. God. Uh, and his reach is so fucking... It's really hard to get beat on just what his reach is exactly because it's just so all... It's all over the place. It is absolutely all over the place. 
Uh, it's like, not many people, like, you go from, like, one of the best fights in the expansion to one of the most aggravating ones, and it's just like, damn it, why? Come on, really? <laughs> uh. All right. Yeah, we're gonna have to bring Sif in at the very least for this one. Just to serve as a distraction. Alright. Alright, trying this again! Oh, yay, yay. I need to try and find that, like, dark fireball spell as well. I need to find that dark fireball spell. That, well, probably won't really do much good in this fight, at the very least. Uh, but it'd just be nice to have. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh, my back. Uh, I think I torqued my back earlier. Ugh. Ugh. There we go. It's like my left shoulder. Left back. Sh backs. Left back. Left side. Blech. Back left. There we go. That's the orientation. Jeez. Yeah, I kind of... I think I torqued that earlier. Somehow. Probably should have put, in, like, put a heat pad on it, actually. Whoop. Uh. There we go. I don't know where you put the fucking fog at, but it was nowhere near where I was at. It was nowhere near me at the very least. So, uh, good job there. Good job, idiot. <laughs> uh. All right. So, objective right now is to try and is get in, get Sif in, and then try to see if we can, like, I don't know. I don't know. It's a tough. It's a tough one. There we go. Yeah, thankfully with Sif, you don't have to worry about like the confirmation dialogue. It just automatically just goes, "Hey, okay, you click the thing. We're bring. We're bringing in backup. We're bringing in backup." There we go. I do like that my thorns are actually causing him damage because he's just such a on this stupidly big target. Ow, ow, ow. Watch Sif does more damage. Yeah, <laughs> probably. Like, like, this might be a, a weird-ass fight. One of the only fights where this is, gets really weird because he might have some heavy fucking resistances. Might have some heavy resistances. Let's see here. That was, actually did some good damage there. Okay, lightning bolts actually do something. Lightning bolts do something. Oh, that actually staggered him. That actually staggered him. Holy shit. Okay. Uh oh. There we go. Okay. Yeah, if we can get away from that combo string during the first couple of swings, then immediately in a good spot. Okay, there we go. We're getting the dodge pattern. We're getting the dodge pattern. Ow. Well, I fucked that up. There we go. There we go. I love that dodging this stuff actually is doing Thorns damage. I love that. That is great. <laughs> that is absolutely great. Uh oh. Ah, 
tried to dodge. Okay, the damage scaling kicked in on the third hit, though. All right. That was a bad time roll there. Fuck. Okay. Whoop. Oh, fuck. Ah, God damn it. Ugh, fucking hell. Okay, good, 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 good. Let me top myself off. Oh, di- Oh, Sif actually interrupted? Fuck. There we go. Oh. Oh. That is, that is really hard to dodge because, uh-oh. Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna have to keep the pendant on hand. The one where the orbs are falling from, from the top is the fucked up one because they'll actually catch on the shield and they, once the shield goes down, they can still like hit you, so you actually have to roll out of the way. Like that. You actually still have to roll out of the way. It is very weird. Yeah. Fuck. Oh, got the combo. Yeah, up, 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 up. Okay, okay. We're still in it. We're still in it. Whoop. Wow, that is absolutely destroying the audio, though. That is absolutely destroying the audio. Fuck! Oh, gods, I hate that. I hate that string so much. I hate... Nope, that's not... That is the wrong thing. Okay. Yeah, I need to start trying to get more blender swings in. Just not a whole lot of openings to utilize it. There we go. Need stamina. There we go. Okay. Whoa. Woo! Barely. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, we might actually, this might be the run. This might be the run. This might be the run. Ow. Oh. Okay, I got nine sips left. Oh, God. Fuck. Okay, I don't need it. I can't I can't afford to get too carried away. Uh, it's so close though! It's so close! Fuck the combo! Ah! Oh god, it's so close! It's so close! Fuck! Oh! Oh that was clutch! Sif! Yo! <laughs> Sif Co! 
caught me in a clutch while I was trying to block the orbs. Ah, uh, good doggo, good doggo. Puppy Sif helped protect you against urban violence. <laughs> We got the soul of Manus and 10 humanity. Also, hey, Dusk, how you doing? She's fine. Yeah, she's totally fine. She's fine. Absolutely fine. She's absolutely fine. Just traumatized. Just just a little just a little bit of trauma. Just some slight trauma. You know? Slight trauma. You know, a little bit of trauma never hurt anyone, right? 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 <laughs> oh. Alright. Fuck. Yeah, that is. That is a fight. That is an absolute fucking fight. Uh, I have. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I can max this out. I can max out the boar helm. There we go. And we can get started on the reinforcing the gauntlets. There we go. Oh. So that was the main antagonist of. The Artorius of the Abyss DLC. Let's go ahead. Let's see. Here we go. Sanctuary. Now we just need to let Grandma Mushroom know of our success. Yeah, exactly. Now for the dragon. <laughs> I have awaited thee. Thou hast rescued Princess Dusk and rid us of that terrible primeval human. Even halting the spread of the abyss, I salute the grandeur of thine enterprise. Please allow me to express my gratitude. I thank thee, as do we all. Gee, thanks. Three, three of your mushrooms. I will remember thee. But I will keep thy story to myself. This is the best way. For thou art come from a time far ahead. No one will sing thy praises. But yet thy greatness shall live on. For it shall be my purpose to remember all thou hast done for us. So basically, the the idea of the DLC is to you're, you learn the truth about how Artorius was able to traverse the abyss. But then the truth comes out that Artorius actually didn't succeed. He actually super fucking failed. So then the element comes in, it's like, who actually traversed the abyss? Turns out, it is you, the chosen undead, traveling back in time from the future to put down the primeval man. And so, because no one would believe the story of someone coming from the future to defend, to save the past, or it would seem like way too far-fetched, they spin the narrative that Artorius was in fact the one that traversed the abyss instead to help preserve his legacy. And kind of conceal the fact that he got corrupted by the darkness. And that is the story of Artorius, the Abyss Walker. <laughs> A cool story. Pretty cool story all around. May the flames. Pretty cool story all around. Uh, let's go ahead and get some more of these. Actually, we can probably. Let's see. Actually. Uh, yeah, we'll go to the Ulusil Township and then we can burn the rest of these. Humanity from Chester. And yeah, I think we got some time. We got some time. We can absolutely take a shot at the dragon. 
we can absolutely take a shot at the dragon. So I'm curious, like, how, like, because, like, Calibid is, like, if I recall correctly, considered the hardest boss in the entire game. Because it has a lot going for it. Oh, hey, Chester. You have quite fine. Let's wow. see. I've... Yeah, you are still absolutely salty. There we go. Uh, let's see. Fire bombs, talismans. Uh, probably get a couple of these. Oop. There we go. Those. Uh, why not? Grab some fire bombs. Grab some more. Uh, black. Okay, that. Oh, is that? Yeah, there we go. I'll be seeing you if you survive your travels. Fun fact: butchered this dragon's name for a Drake companion for my first official D and D, D character. Oh, really? <laughs> it's actually kind of funny. Like, cause when I was first making my uh, Final Fantasy XIV character, yeah, I was trying to come up with. A proper name and it's like okay let's do a double reference here like the aura or like kind of look kind of draconic so we can probably pull a draconic name and the first thing I came to mind was the name Palamine after the Dark Souls boss dragon <laughs> and then the last name bourbon because I like bourbon <laughs> Really, not really the most far off sounding last name, but hey, it worked for me. It worked. It worked for me. I'm going this way because there's a couple items that we can absolutely obtain still. Just not gonna get too attached to these souls. So, first thing we need to do is to actually trigger the fight. We need to actually trigger the encounter first. Turn it to Palamis. Oh, actually, that's not a bad little variation there. That is not a bad variation on that. It's actually kind of clever. Be wary of fatty. Jeez. Yeah, the only real threats down here are these little uh, doggos. Not too threatening, but just enough to be an annoyance. Just enough of, of a presence to be an annoyance. There we go. Don't, they don't even give that many souls, so it's just like, meh. Unfortunately, we can't exactly ignore them the first time through. There you are. All right, so there's actually a little bit of a falling puzzle here as well because there's some platforms, some platforms up right there. Yeah, do this. Nope. Eh. There we go. Gotta get that first. And we just gotta carefully navigate our way down. There is a ladder that we can use later, but that method allows us to get between. Yeah, there's a ladder right there. Uh, let's see. Okay, if I get too far there in uh, that direction, yeah, because we want to check over here. Because there's actually a couple treasures. There's absolutely a couple treasures. Yep. Treasure chest behind the waterfall. Gotta take advantage of that. Keep control of life. My next life? Oh, jeez! Oh, you coming in early. Oh, you're coming in early. Wow, I actually survived that. <laughs> I actually survived that. Damn, I'm not. <laughs> okay. So normally that just outright kills you. Uh-oh. Well, there it is. <laughs> there it is. 
There it is. Oh, there it is. So yeah, you're realizing, oh shit, I actually, oh, I forgot to actually set the other bonfire. Fuck. I actually forgot to set the other bonfire. Okay, so you're real, so basically, yeah, the way it is right now, it's actually impossible to fight Kali. So we gotta go back. And it's like, you kind of have to think about, rack your brain a little bit on this one. Because you have to think, who is around that can actually assist in taking down a dragon? Who can assist in taking down a dragon? There's only one other person that you can really kind of interact with. So it's like, it's not really clear. But eventually... You, you kind of come back, you fit, run around, seeing, trying to find solutions. So, you come back over, like, okay, maybe Hawkeye go, I don't know, can buy something. Good morning. Is the black dragon posing the duress? And he just brings that up. <laughs> uh, oh, gods, am I still on just chatting? Oh, gods. Oh, my fucking... Uh, I actually... Oh my god, I need to stop doing this. I need to stop trying to do that. Am I actually still on? Um, I am. I need to stop doing it. I need to just start on just like the game because I need to just start on the game because I keep th fucking just blanking out on that. I am not able to like, I think it's because I don't actually see the category or maybe I'm not like looking at the category in front of me and I don't know, fucking... Maybe that's what's going on. <laughs> Maybe people are getting confused by this. Maybe people are getting confused. God damn it. Like, like I am just absolutely just fucking... I, uh, gods. <laughs> I am just have not able to keep track of that. I, I keep telling myself I need to, like, actually change the game category when I get to the game. Like, start off with just hanging out. Just hanging out and chatting. You know, get warm up, let people walk in, and then change the ca game category when we actually get to it. My brain is just not able to process that. I don't know what it is. I cannot process for. I cannot be fucking asked to remember it. I don't know what it is. I keep fucking forgetting. We've been streaming for three, almost four hours at this point, and I've been on just chatting the whole time. I don't know what the fuck it is with my head. <sighs> Fucking hell. <laughs> well, thank you for catching that, though. Thank you for catching that. Uh, I just... My... I, I don't know what it is. I cannot... I... <sighs> well, are fucking here now! We're fucking here now! <laughs> oh, I appreciate you catching that, though. I appreciate you catching that. Ay 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 ay. Ah. I imagine that people have probably been looking in on the stream and it's just like been just super confused and I'm like, wait, what? What's going on here? What is actually happening? <laughs> Are you actually playing Dark Souls or not? Like, what the fuck? Ugh. Jeez. I don't wonder if it's been affecting t attendance or if it's just like holiday stuff. I don't fucking know. I don't know why. I, I, I'm trying to not let the brain goblins. I'm trying to not let the brain goblins get in, but it's like, it's hard, you know? It's hard. All right, go. Yeah, Calamite's giving me fucking problems. Uh, yes. Sorry for the rant. It's just, it's yeah, it's been. Calamite. Ferocious dragon indeed, even mighty Anna Londa dared not provoke his ire. I see little good coming from this, but my intent is to persevere to the bitter end. Hell yeah! <laughs> good, good. What is bravery without a dash of recklessness? I've hmm. taken a liking to thee, and I owe thee much for thy service to Artorius. Now, watch, and see how Goth hunts dragons. Oh, here we go. Reminder, he is blind. He is actually blind. Take that into consideration here.
Hey Claire, how you doing? You just came in at a great time. Hawkeye, yes. motherfucking go! A truer shot was never loosed. That bat will be grounded. Hawkeye, motherfucking go! I await good tidings. Ah, dragon slaying, knighthood's highest calling. Yeah, he's that much of a badass. He is that much of a badass. <laughs> uh, Claire, how you doing? Thank you so much. Yeah, we just fu we finally fucking I finally remembered to switch up the category over to Dark Souls after being on Just Chatting for almost four hours because my brain just doesn't really just seems to have a hard time comprehending. The, those kind of things. <laughs> Doing good. Good to hear. Good to hear. Glad you were able to swing on by. Everyone, welcome. Welcome the our newest moderator. Moderator, Claire Omens Omnicider. Uh, offers omnisiding and omnisiding accessories. <laughs> Sorry I wasn't over earlier, was playing ER for my GF and Discord. No worries, no worries. I need to get in a better habit of like being able to like switch game categories myself. Uh, cause yeah, I'm still trying to like set up the fucking mental uh habit of that. It for whatever reason it just hasn't really clicked in yet. Invincibility frames! Yeah, for whatever reason, like, I just haven't really felt the actual, like, brain habits of switching categories when I actually, like, get to the game, you know? I will commit the homicide on any of rule breakers. <laughs> uh, I died in Vermintide. Oh, no! Oh, jeez. Well, I hope you were able to at least take out as many Skaven as you can. I hope you were able to take out as many Skaven as you could, Oliver. Oh yeah. Now we're in a proper boss fight. Is this the first? Okay. Ow, 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 Okay. Yeah, now it's not immediately like one shot at you anymore. Ooh, good luck. Michael's birthday lives on, it seems. <laughs> uh. Place me in a scaven undercity. We'll be fine soon enough. Oh god, this is the fun one. That's the fun one. Yeah, that's a hard one to dodge. But, okay. Okay, I need a... Oh, I do not want to get caught by that. Jeez, that's bright. Jeez, that's bright. This stuff. Here we go. Ow. Oh god, the fucking sound is breaking. Oh, the sound is breaking all over. Okay, we're getting, we're getting ahead then. Audio is breaking. Yeah. Minigun is fucking is fucking dope. 
great purple juice, load up minigun, died instantly to an assassin jumping on me. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. Okay, that's good. Hit. The item you want from him is really hard to get. Oh, yeah, the fucking dragon, the tail cut. Yeah, his tail is not as difficult to get to as seats. At the same time, it's about as irritating. Because, yeah, he's similarly does not sit still. Shit. Yeah, he similarly does not sit, there, sit still for a long. Kind of have to catch him when he's doing very specific. Oh, gods, I got caught. Oh, that is cool. Okay, I'm gonna need to turn the audio down on that. Well, now he's buffed, so this is probably a fucking buck fight. This fight is probably a buck fight. Oh yeah, the fact that it's not really at ground level is doesn't make it any easier. And this the bolt wheel admittedly does not have much in terms of like vertical reach. So you gotta very much pick your shot. Ow. He's not buffed. You're just Oh god, is that what it is? I thought it was like, I thought he got, got a buff from it. Or at least I thought. It's been a while since I tried to remember the exact specifics of the attack. Whoop!
area. Right in the taint. Right in the taint. Yeah, for a first run, this actually hasn't been too bad. This actually has not been too bad for a first try. So. Back. out of six now. Back. Uh, yeah, I got nothing. I got nothing here. Back. Back. Yeah, I did. Yeah, nah, this one's done. This one's done. Uh, not a bad first attempt, though, at the very least. I'm not first attempt. I just gotta remember what the dodge patterns are. I just gotta remember what the dodge patterns are. Uh, oh god, I forgot to set the other bonfire, didn't I? I actually got to set the other bonfire. Good try, thank you. It was it actually was a decent try. It actually was a decent try. It actually was a decent try. I just need a bit. I just need to kind of like adjust my strategy a little bit. Uh, let's see. We can take that off. Uh, bu -bu 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 what can we utilize here? Put that on. Uh, let's see. I guess I can put the fucking divine blessing on just in case I need like panic heals or anything like that. Alright. I think we can get this. I think we can get this. This actually might not be as annoying as Manus was. This might actually not be as annoying as Manus was. Because it helps that I can actually block some of Calumet's attacks. It helps that I can actually block some of his attacks. Alright. And I'm starting to remember how to avoid some of those attacks. So, we can just be able to kind of get some better get some better dodges in there. Get a better understanding of what I can avoid, what I have to avoid, and what I can block. It would be more annoying if you wanted to get the tail. Oh, God, I'm not even trying for the tail. I, like, the these things are way too slow to be doing any attempts at tail cutting. That much was made apparent during the fight with Seath. And Seath's is probably the most irritating tail to cut because it's just such a small ass little spot and he's constantly turning his body around. Like, Calibates you can you can still do get if you have a weapon that has like enough reach. This does not have a whole lot of reach. <laughs> like, a, if we can get him in a spot where, like, Petrofurg is, like, breath attack or something like that, that might be another story. But, but I'm not really going to, like, at intentionally attempt to get at the tail. If it happens, it happens. There we go. 
friend the dragons instead of fighting. I want to bring back the Age of Dragons. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there is the Dragon Covenant. There is the Dragon Covenant. I think that move is also when he does the attempt that to use the psychic attack. That's also the uh, best opportunity to try and get an attack in the tail. Okay. Wolf, hello! Thank you so much for swinging on by. How are you doing? I hope you're having a terrifyingly pleasant time zone. Yeah, see, now that we're actually on the fucking Dark Souls category, I think now everyone's realizing what's going on. And it's like, oh shit, that's what's going on over here. Now that we now that we actually got the fucking category to be accurate. <laughs> uh, now everyone's now everyone is seeing what's going on here. Okay, if I can bait him into doing... Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we can bait him into doing more... Whoop! Yeah, more of those. Oh, God, I am missing all of my swings. I am missing all of my swings. like the most vulnerable spot fuck that was clear oh, oh god that's loud uh I was playing DS1 for the first time mostly blind it, oh god fuck 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 and KBM but I think I kind of stopped that I'm not really too familiar with what KBM is not really too familiar with what KBM is. Uh, here we go. Ow. Oh, keyboard and mouse. Oh, God. Yeah, no. No. Like, Souls games have a keyboard and mouse option, but they are not keyboard friendly. They are not keyboard friendly by any means. Not by a fucking long shot. Oh god, it's your position. Yeah, they are not keyboard friendly by a long shot. I play Elden Ring with keyboard. It's not an issue with that game. It is actually surprising. Like, I still don't really feel like... I don't... Like, this is a very, like, movement intensive game. And it's like, I don't even, like, it doesn't, it feels more, like, or it feels like your movements are more restricted. Like, if you can make it work, then fucking more power to you. But, I don't know, like, it's just, I just find it surprising that people can, like, actually play like that. Then again, people have played Souls games in some bizarre ass fucking man. Yeah, DS1, ooh, it ain't good. Well, it doesn't really help that, like, the PC version of Dark Souls kind of... Oh, come on! Who's that? Why does that? say this, like, Dark Souls, like, the PC version of Dark Souls was initially, like, a straight port, and it didn't really get the upgraded treatment until the, the 
Parrot, the DLC came out. Well, we didn't really get the... We didn't really get, like, a proper, like, treatment until the remaster was a thing. And then... And then they updated the PC version to properly match the consoles. So it was like... But the control scheme is still like very much like nah, you're not gonna wanna do keyboard with this. Cause it's a lot stiffer. It's a lot stiffer than Elden Ring by a pretty significant margin. It's a lot stiffer than Elden Ring. Ow. Probably not a good idea to actually be trying not to be even rough. So good. It doesn't disappear in game. Oh god, so you can't you can't actually hide it? Oh that is that is hilarious. That is hilarious. That is actually hilarious. It's gotta be super distracting. <laughs> That's gotta be super fucking distracting. Uh, almost! Almost! I don't wanna get too carried away here. Hell yeah! Oh, that went so much better. That went so but much better. <laughs> Just had to take it easy, nice and slow. Nice and slow, slow and steady, wins the race. Holy shit. And we get a Calamity Ring for our efforts. What does the Calamity Ring do, you ask? A whole lot of fucking nothing! Receive double damage. <laughs> yeah, you want you want your reward for being one of the tougher bosses in the DLC? You get fucking damage that essentially enables hard mode. <laughs> you get a ring that enables hard mode. There you go. Fuck you. <laughs> a ring enchanted by the orange eye of Calamity, the bringer of Calamity. Doubles damage received by its wearer. Useless ring befitting of no finger, that's left unknown or at least well hidden. The game that even tells you is like, there's no purpose of this thing, you're fucking crazy if you actually insist on putting this on. Uh, good job, thank you, thank you. 
Ah, that went that actually went a lot easier than the fight with the Manus. That was so much easier compared to the Manus fight. Holy shit. And we get some great arrows. Uh, other issue is I couldn't rebind the keys to the mouse, nor to the number row or anything. Oh god, yeah. Just oof. Yeah, definitely just not really not really designed for mouse and keyboard. Like they definitely learned in the later releases for sure. But Dark Souls not so much. Not so much. Best challenge, where for the final fight. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, just intentionally handicap yourself. Like if I had, an, if I had a spare ring slot, I would possibly consider it. But I have to take off the hobbles ring and then remove most of my armor. That would probably actually make it like even more difficult. And I don't know how I feel about that. Don't know how I feel about that. What am I doing? I can just fucking take a bone like, back. In fact, I can just take a. I can just. I can just bone back to the bonfire. You can parry him constantly. Unfortunately, I am using a shield that is not capable of parrying. I am using a shield that is not capable of parrying. I think the Calamity Ring is a better debuff than using KBM with default keybinds. Oh, man. Oh, prepare the die edition, not the remaster. Yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez. Like, I guess the real, like, reward to shoot for would be to get the tail cut. Because that allows you to get the, uh, get a, another Dragon Greatsword. Which is a really good fucking greatsword. But yeah, you need a weapon that can actually reach that tail reliably. And admittedly, as much as we've been able to do with this, it is not a weapon with reach. Why? Thou hast defeated Kalamit? Wondrously played. Lord Quinn's blessing upon me. That beast. We'll never take to the skies again. Yeah. The dragons shall never be forgotten. We knights fought valiantly, but for every one of them, we lost three score of our own. Exhilaration, pride, hatred, rage. The dragons teased out our dearest emotions thou will understand one day at our twilight old thoughts return in great waves of nostalgia mm-hmm Be pretty much oh man uh, uh, oh man so with that we have officially cleared the DLC. We have officially cleared the DLC. What if the real rewards were the friends we made along the way? <laughs> you know what the real reward was? Seeing Hawkeye motherfucking Goaf take down a dragon despite being blind. <laughs> oh, that's the real reward. That's the real reward. Oh, man. Uh... Farewell, proud human. May every honor be bestowed upon thee. Yeah. Oh man. That I was gonna say, I I had hoped that we were we would be able to take and clear the DLC in a single session, and fuck yeah, we were able to actually do just that. I'm actually surprised, like Calumby gave less problems than Manus did, but I guess it's just because of the nature of Manus's fight in general. Like He's constantly moving, and his hitbox is very awkward, so 
for like this, it's with especially since this has a lot of wind up, it's that much harder to get attacks in. Whereas Calamite is like a larger target, he just does more damage with his swings for the most part. So it's that kind of like dichotomy there. It's blind by choice, really nerfing himself. Yeah, oh yeah. Well, I don't know if it's by choice because his gear mentions that he might like his helmet is actually like obfuscated. Like they like some people stuffed his helmet with stuff as a joke. But it's hard to tell if he's actually like keeping if actually aware of it or if he's just if he's just like dumb. <laughs> he's just or if he's just like not even really aware of it. Like I, I don't know. I think that I think I'd have to double check on that one and see. I thought he sealed his helmet up. No, I think what it is, is I think it ended up getting like his helmet got uh clogged up as by some other people as like a prank. Um and actually let's go ahead and let me look that up real quick actually. Let me look that up just kinda make sure. Cause it's a description on the helmet. It's a, it's a description on the helmet. Uh huck I go. Uh let's see. Uh ba -ba -ba. merchant. One of the four knights, blinded and locked up without purpose. Uh, shall bear of the hawk ring. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Gives a great bows, gift that to the dragon. Uh, da, da, da. uh, da, da, da. no enemies in between. Fighting attacks. Equipment. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Trivia. Uh, Hawkeye Go and the Giant Blacksmith seem to know each other. Uh, let's see. I have a description. Yeah, the mal medallion that adorns it was given to it by Gwyn himself. Uh, armor is made of material similar to porn, similar by the Silver Knight. Uh, okay. Yeah, here we go. Golf was likely blinded by the tree resin that packs the eyes of his helmet, put there by those that dismissed Golf as a brutish giant, likely the Ulusil townspeople that imprisoned him. These and similar sentiments towards giants would continue in Dark Souls 2 and 3, ultimately leading to the apparent enslavement of their entire race. Yeah, so yeah. Basically, yeah, uh, some people stuffed his helmet with resin uh, by people that really didn't take too kindly to them so they were just like yo let's let's fuck let's fuck with them let's fuck with this giant uh, despite the fact that he's kind of a good giant <laughs> oh, and he just never really took the helmet off he just never really took the helmet off so might be slightly intended but at the same time like never really it's kind of hard to tell but the blindness was definitely caused by other other people Definitely caused by a. Uh, but yeah, the fact that he's still able to like shoot his bow with that level of a accuracy despite being blinded? Yeah! You don't wanna fuck with that guy. You do not wanna fuck with that kind of person. Someone that can make that kind of shot easily. <laughs> uh. Oh, here we go. We can actually start. You did get a chunk. Fuck oh, yeah. There we go. Uh, here. I think that's about all we can do for now. All right. And you know what? We'll put another point into vitality because why the fuck not? Why the fuck not? <laughs> uh, but yeah. We were able to beat. That is the DLC. That is the DLC. <laughs> so yeah, with that taken care of, I think the only things left to do would be to check in on a couple side quests, uh, do the painted world of Ariana's, and race on over to Lord Gwyn. So. 
next time we pick this up, we'll finally be finishing the game. We'll finally be finishing the game. We'll be finally be completing the run. <laughs> and this has been a fun ass run too. It's been a fun ass fucking run. Like holy shit. <laughs> been, like, controller away. Yeah, it's been a blast of a run. Like holy shit. <laughs> I was I was not sure how I w this was gonna go, but this has been an insanely fun run. You know, <laughs> been having a lot of like kind of fun with this. Been having a lot of fun with this. Oh man. So yeah, um, possibly like yeah, we could possibly be finished in, finishing this up this next coming Monday. This next coming Monday, uh, we'll. Actually, will either be like Monday or Friday because we like because we did Dark Souls early on Monday instead of uh, Scorn, so we're we kind of ended up going in ahead a little ahead of schedule. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I think we can probably like finish it by this coming Monday. We can probably finish it this coming Monday. And I was thinking about like to keep the Souls Vember theme going. Uh, depending on other factors, may take a look at the Messia, which is a Souls-like game in of itself. So I was thinking, hey, take a look at that as part of Soul uh, Souls Vember. <laughs> that's I was that's what I was thinking of at the very least. That's what I was thinking at the very least. <laughs> Let's go ahead and hop on over here as we close things out <laughs> but yeah that's definitely something I was uh, bouncing around in my head thinking about ways we can kind of keep the souls vember theme going because <laughs> yeah it's like the messy is definitely a game I've been looking at uh, for a while now and I've heard good I've heard good things about it like it's a bit of a it's more of a well it's kind of closer to bloodborne in a sense, which not a bad thing. Like I'm down for like Bloodborne S style games. Uh, what the fuck was I gonna say? Uh, it's how do I put this? It's got an interesting look. It, but I like I don't know how the gameplay is going to be. I don't know how the gameplay is. But I I've been like keeping tabs on it. I've been keeping tabs on it. And I'm curious to see it. And then we also have Scorn, which probably will be like at the tail end of the month. If not, we'll probably do that at the beginning of December. Um, and then, yeah, there's like, well, this, well the holidays are going to kind of like throw a huge wrench in, into things. The holidays are going to throw a huge wrench into things. So, <laughs> Fair warning, fair warning ahead of time. Fair warning ahead of time, you know? Holidays are going to be a little on the weird side, especially since, uh, especially since, uh, like, this, like, Christmas and New Year's or, like, on, during the weekend. So that is going to be a number of things going on during that, all that. There's going to be a number of things going on during all that. And so, fair warning ahead of time. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, as far as like the current plan is, goes, we will definitely be looking to finish Dark Souls next week. So, at that point, we will just need to be working towards finishing our Elden Ring run, and shit, <laughs> we will actually be able to knock those two out. Fuck yeah! I, I, oh man, this is good. This is getting good. This is getting good. 